It's Tuesday morning, Monday night, and Memorial Day weekend is over. I hope you guys had a nice weekend. I sure did. We spent a lot of time out on the water. I'm a little bit sunburned. Maybe that'll turn into a suntan, uh, or maybe it'll turn into skin cancer. Probably not, right? <laughs> Actually, we went out to a place called Frank and Louie's again, and uh, man, it's just amazing how many people out here seem like they do nothing but lay in the sun and go boating. Uh, and we had some delicious food, but man, it was overpriced. They gave you very small portions and it was very expensive as well. I guess that's the cost of living out here. <laughs> uh, yesterday, we had in our daily special, the NFL Custom Prism. Most of you guys who are early here at the beginning of the live stream already know how it worked because you guys uh, probably really enjoy following the channel, but I'll just reiterate. We'll remind people how it works a few times uh, you know, throughout the stream. So the custom NFL prisms is to help this NFL prism card fill up sooner. Jeff Leon took spot number six. That means there's six spots remaining. Let me count. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. GJM already had his pack opened. It was not an autograph card, which means that your odds of picking up an autograph card have increased. And uh, so the next round of the Prism Customs already about halfway done. And the way this works is if you happen to be the guy who pulls the correct booster pack, your booster pack could have the entire NFL Prism booster pack in it valued at $220. And people who collect Pokemon cards might be interested in this list as well because you can get a box of match list if you don't want the NFL Prism. All right, so I thought I'd just mention that. The other thing I want to talk about is this beautiful guy. Oh my gosh, were you guys watching TikTok? I was making TikTok videos just before we went live over here, and I was opening up about two boxes, booster boxes worth of XY Evolutions with the uh, intention of pulling a PSA 10 Charizard out of them. And I think I did, which, uh, you know, people talk a lot of crap on XY Evolutions, but 10s are out there. They exist. I think this might be one of them. So let's see. That corner is pretty clean. This corner looks really clean. That one looks great. This corner is pretty clean. Look at that. It's not quite a dot. And this corner is pretty clean as well. Okay, so those look really, really nice. But what impresses me most is I don't really see a print line. Let me just double exam. Because, you know, I was, I was making TikTok videos when I recorded it. So let's get real close, right? All right, so let's see. I'm going to look real deep. Trying to, I'm trying to see if there's anything right there. Maybe. That looks a little bit like a print line. But actually, it's so faint that I wonder if they will detect it. Bottom heavy. Yeah, but not enough for them to fail a 10 on that card. Take a look. See that corner? And then ch check this corner. Now check the bottom corner and check the other bottom corner. So that's not, that's not a bad enough of a issue for them to fail a 10 on that. Oh, here we go. Right there. <laughs> Very hard to detect, too. There it is. <laughs> well, maybe they'll be nice and turn it into a 10. We'll have to see. Because we've seen these Charizards come back. We've seen some of them come back as 10s when they shouldn't be coming back 10s. Maybe that's PSA's standard. Maybe they allow print lines. But I would grade this a 9. So we'll have to see. He'll be sent out... And uh, these are the rest of my XY evolutions right here. Let's go ahead and open these up and see what happens to them. Loom looks good on centering. That's what I think. I think the centering looks good. Mr. Only submits to PSA when it benefits him. Well, let me tell you something. If we sent this to CGC, I guarantee you it would not get a 10. Uh, but PSA apparently allows cards with print lines through. So we'll find out. Sneep. Mr. About to Snipe all the Charizards. I would say it's a 10. Well, that's Lelouch talking. Uh, there is a, a thin print line on the right side of the leg. That print line is barely noticeable. It's hard to see, but it exists. So, I don't know if PSA will let it through, but you guys, I've shown off on TikTok at least two different Charizards that also had print lines and still got 10. And I made those videos because I don't really agree with that style of grading. But maybe it's just the case that PSA, maybe they just have a low grading standard. I don't know what to say. Here's Farfetch'd Clefairy. So these are the rest of my evolutions. I'm opening them up for me. <laughs> what? Oh, I should have let you guys open them. 
I was opening them for me because we just pulled the Charizard. We just pulled the Charizard. I thought there would be no chance for another Charizard. So I was opening the rest uh, as a courtesy. Wow, that's crazy. Is this a similar Charizard? Well, now we got to examine this one. Let, well, let's check the back. Let's check for white dot on the back. That would eliminate it very fast. So, I don't like this edge here. That looks like a, a little bit of a white dot. Uh, centering's close enough to pass their centering requirements. Let's check this out. The other one had one by the leg. I assume they're from the same sheep, but I'm not seeing it. Hold on, let me zoom in even more. What the... That's some crazy monkey beans, man. What the heck? I'm not under the wing. Does that look like a line to you? It's so faint. Oh, there we go. Man, you gotta tilt it just right, though, to see it. I would say with both of these cards going in, there is a slight chance that they will miss that. A very faint print line just right here and barely touching there. But again, we've actually sent Charizards out that had clearer print lines. If you go through my TikToks, you will see Charizards that have clearer print lines than that. And they also graded 10. So I wonder if PSA is allowing a certain number of Charizards through, even with the print line, uh, because they hope to have some kind of 10 population. So the nice thing about these is they are both very well centered. Uh, I'd say that they look pretty nice on the back too. We'll send them out. I'll let you guys know if they come back 10, if either of them come back 10. Very interesting. I was opening these packs up because I didn't want to sell them to you guys because I'd already pulled the Charizard. So, you know, I don't want to just mind sweep the Charizard out. What were the odds that another Charizard came out? Crazy. All right, let's leave these up. Wow, what a great uh, thumbnail for this particular live stream because I was showing off the Charizard and you guys got to see it pulled live. Weedle, Weedle Gang, Weedle Gang, Weedle Gang. One more, says Corn Rule. That's right, we're going to pull one more Charizard. It's Charizard. Uh, I'd love to pull a PSA 10 Mew out of this set as well. Maybe that could happen. All right, here's an Electric Energy. Ooh. Next pack, we have... There's a Charizard EX. That's decent. Yeah, he's always a decent pull, especially if he can grade 10. Pokédex. Pokédex looks nice. You know, uh, I chose to make my TikToks out of Evolutions because I, I still consider it an underpriced set, even at this point. But unfortunately for tonight, I won't have any more of them for you guys. However, I've already got more Evolutions on the way in, okay? And besides, you don't want to buy any of my remaining packs of Evolutions at this point anyways because we have now pulled, like, two Hollow Charizards. There's no way there's a third Charizard. That would be... It would be the beginning of the Downward Spiral. Let's see, what do we got? Starmie Break. I know you guys are after Starmie Break. Don't lie to me. <coughs> Excuse me. Here's Misty's Determination. Thin on the bottom, unfortunately. And Ma Champ Break. All right, so I was just clearing these up because I didn't want to be unfair and try to sell you guys Evolution Packs where the Charizard's already been pulled. But apparently there were two Charizards, so I should have just sold them. And somebody tonight would have been a happy camper. here surfing, Pikachu. So that's kind of a bummer. Because I was all done making content for TikTok. I didn't need any more. I mean, I'm not going to complain, but I like to see you guys get good pulls. In my opinion, uh, to make the live stream fun for you guys, it's very important to me that you guys get lots of Charizard pulls. Oh, how did I miss this? Going too fast, probably. Oops. Must have been going real fast. Is that Pikachu sleeved up? Whoops. Okay, and uh, let's see. Any more? Any more? I'm going to go place this on the other table uh, because what I'll end up doing after the live stream, I'll end up picking all the non-hollow Pikachus out and slowly examining them for a possibility at a 10 
and any Pikachus that can grade 10, they'll also be sent off to grade, even though there's far too many of them. Wow, this actually looks pretty decent. A little thin on this side. If crazy enough, I think he has a slim shot at a 10. All right. Oh, thank you, Mr. Cheese. You guys liking the music we're playing tonight? We're playing some Game Boy and Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance music tonight. It's a new soundtrack. I'll turn it up a little bit. Chill Vibes. This is the regular Game Boy, not Game Boy Color. This is the regular Game Boy RoboCop soundtrack. How about that? Let's turn it up. All right, I'll be right back. Let me place this on the table. Man, that was some groovy music back in the 80s. All right, so I will go ahead and place this off to the side. Get this out of our hair. And uh, we'll keep these on the table because they look so nice. What do you guys think? Sweet. And let's go ahead and start looking at orders. We're 11 minutes in. Let's see what's in the news today. Man, listen to how groovy that is. Shooting in Miami. Belgium recalls Ambassador South. Wow. Nothing interesting in the news. That's a good thing. And this one is Super Mario Land. Man, I love this game. Super Mario Land, that wasn't made by the usual Mario team. It was made by a different team. I don't remember what the team was, though. I remember because I watched a documentary on that. The music is so catchy. All right, so first of all, for tonight, we have Miss Brittany Dozier. She wants four silver lamps. All right. Brittany. Two, three, four. Brittany, she wanted four silver lamps, but she didn't mention that yesterday, so I didn't know that. And, oops, and now we know, so let's see what she pulls. Good luck, Brittany, and welcome to the pokey table. Cold. Is Calyrex. Look at this Calyrex. It's so nice. Cold. And Frost Lath. Lass. Woo! All right, there you go, Brittany. Let me grab a bag. Miss Brittany. All right, and we'll go ahead. Look at this, it's so nice. Brittany Dozier. Sweet. All right, now that we've taken care of that, let's see who's next. Eric Guzman, he says five Lost Thunder Japanese and five team up Japanese. You got it, Mr. Eric Guzman. One, two, three, oh, that's the one. Lost Thunder and Teamer. All right, give me a minute. Master, one, two, three, four, five. Lost Thunder as well. One, two, three, four, five. Mr. Eric. Here we go. Sleep. And Sneep. So, Mr. Eric, let's see what hot cards we're picking up for you tonight. We've got a cold pack. We've got Articuno. Oh, my gosh. That's all I ever wanted was Articuno. Cold. <gasps> Bro! Oh! 
This is such a good card. Damn, dude, it's like the reason you open up Team Up. Gengar and Mimikyu. It looks slightly different in Japanese. Look at the texture. Man. I'm so jealous! I've sent one of those out to grade, and I swear to God, it did not look like that. It didn't have that awesome texture. The Japanese cards continue to impress. Here's Snorlax Eevee. And really, this is why we need to open more of these Japanese team-up sets, is because, you know, in English, Japanese team-up is so unaffordable at this point, but actually, the Japanese version of the cards are still pretty affordable. Cold. Oh, actually, you got this. That's an Espeon Uncommon, but we're tossing it in anyways. It's so nice. We've got a Cold Pack. And... Tyranitar, woo! Big Tyranitar simp. I got two of those shining Tyranitars from Neo Destiny. Cold. And that's a cold one. All right, well, Mr. Eric Guzman, that was a fantastic starting or starter opening to the live stream. Let me get these out of the way. Uh, so these are the NFL Prism custom packs. I'll set them to the side. They're already built up. These are the Pukemons from Mr. Uh, Keith Craver. I never handed them out. Uh, we should hand them out. I just don't know. I guess what we'll do is, because I found these on the floor and I realized I hadn't handed them out yet. Uh, these will continue to be pity pulls like he intended for them to be. And I'll go ahead and hand these out to whoever has the worst luck, uh, the next four guys who have the worst luck. So it wasn't Mr. Eric Guzman though, so you're safe, Mr. Eric. No bonus pack for you. Eric Guzman with an E. All right, so, Mr. Eric, here we are. Look at this Gengar. Damn, dude. Next up, we've got Jeremy Homesteader. He says three Shining Face and five Silver Lance. All right. Here we go. Five Silver Lance. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Let's see what you get, Mr. Jeremy Helmstatter. Ooh. Man, look at these Charizards. They're so fancy. Gosh, I hope they're grade 10. Sneep. And sneep. So what did you guys do on your Memorial Day weekend? I want to hear who had the most fun in chat today. Mr. Jeremy, pack number one is cold. Pack number two is Zarud. Oh, no. Cold. What do we have here? Tauros. Man, Tauros has been around for a while. You forget that he's a, a Gen 1 Pokemon almost, because, I don't know, it's like there's been so many Tauros-like Pokemon, and they've never been that uh, prolific. You know what I mean? And Sandaconda. All right, Sandaconda. Boop. Now for the Shining Fates. Score Bunny, that's actually a pretty decent shiny. That's one of the three starters. All right. Here's Frost Moth. And Cacnea Luxray. Sweet. Go ahead and move this book over there. All right, very nice. Well, the Score Bunny is all right. It wasn't the hottest round, but it was a decent round. There we go. So that's for Jeremy Helmstatter. Let's go find his bag. Here we go. Damn, Jeremy, you picked up Rainbow Rare Doctor. Remember that? The previous box of Silver Lance had both Flannery and the Hyper Rare Doctor in it. Sweet. Okay, there we go. 
All right, let's go ahead and have a refresh. I wonder how crazy of a night it's going to be. It's a Tuesday, so it shouldn't be too wild. Maybe it'll be an early night. Adam Smith. What's up, Adam Smith? He wants six matchless fighters. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Sweet. Only the hot ones for Mr. Adam. How many people we got? We got 165 people. What's up, everybody? How's it going? Welcome to the late night Pokemon card live stream. We've got Thunderous. I'm ready to open five bazillion Pokemons. Cold. Here's Urshifu. Cold. And... Oh! Rune Rigus, that's the hottest one. What's up, Static? How's it going, man? All right. Boop. Oh. So that's Adam Smith. Let's go find Mr. Adam Smith. Let's see. Arden in, Alexander, Alexander Hurst, Adam Moondorf, Mr. Moondorf, Andrew Schmidt, ah, here we are, Adam Smith. All right. Let's see who's next. Thank you, Mr. Alex, for your dollar donation. And I'll go ahead and refresh. Let's see. I expect it to be an excellent night tonight. I'm ready to stream until the cows come home. Mr. Chris Haynes. Uh, thank you for the donation, Mr. Chris. And now we have John Gamilla. What's up, John? He says... What's crack a lacking, mister? Can I get 10 Sword and Shield base packs? You sure can. Let's get 10 Sword and Shield base. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Woo! How many spots left in the large custom? Uh, the large custom's moving pretty slow. Maybe I should talk about that. We'll talk about that right afterwards. All right, we're doing so much on these on this channel to, uh, these days that it's probably hard for people to concentrate their uh, their purchases one way or another. So that's a little bit my fault, and we'll fix that. And we'll get this moving, okay? All right, here goes, Mr. John. Sleep. How's it going, Mr. Mahasfara? How are you tonight? Sneep. Sneep. And sneep. All right. So the best pull in Sword and Shield. By the way, people forget about how awesome this set is. It's got Marnie Full Art, Marnie Rainbow. It's got the Snorlax VMAX Rainbow, right? Uh, it's got Lapras in it, Lapras Hyper. It's got... The Golden Dogs, Zacian and, and Zamazenta. Yeah, this set's crazy good. I think it also has Timer Ball for one of the trainer ultra rares. So it's actually, um, it's surprising that this doesn't cost more already. Do you feel like the base sets never get the attention they deserve? I feel like maybe that happens. Let's see what happens. Your first pack is a green back. Second pack, what do we have? <gasps> right off the bat, you got the sexy grandma, mister. Rainbow bead, that's right, beads in the set too. Very nice. Here's Musharna. And Reggie Rock. Reggie Rock's like the thing from the, the uh, what are they called? The, uh, I'm, I'm thinking Final Fantasy. 
Oh, Fantastic Four. There we go. <laughs> Final Fantasy and Fantastic Four. They both have double Fs in the title, huh? What's up, Mr. Sprite? <gasps> Damn, dude. You just pulled full art bead, too. You're full of beads. Holy. Look at that. What are the odds of that occurring? He got both the Rainbow Rare and the regular full art at the same time. Dude, that's nuts. That's like me pulling double Charizards tonight. It's the lucky Pokemon night. Oh, my lord. Mudbray. Here's Energy Switch. Here's Salandit. Oh, mister, your round was so hot, it doesn't even matter if this last pack is hot, which it was not, but that's okay. Hyper Rare, Full Art, and a V-Card, all in the span of 10 packs. What a night, what a night. There we go. We'll go ahead and sleeve up your hollows for you. Do you have any master sets? Uh, you know, I don't really do master sets. I just kind of go off after my favorite Pokemon. And uh, so in a master set, you would collect Pokemon uh, that, to finish the set. But that would mean I'd have to collect Pokemon I'm not a big fan of. So some people do collect master sets. Some people, maybe they only collect the most valuable Pokemon, but I just kind of collect whatever I think is cool. Like, I've got favorites. Like, I'm a big fan of Tyranitar, for example. So I kind of go after my favorite Pokemon, or cards I'm really nostalgic for. Like, there were cards in my set when I was younger, and when I got back into collecting, the very first thing I did was I went, went out and I repurchased them. Okay, Mr. John says he needs a new bag. Let's see it. There we go. John, go me up. Mr. John. All right, and let's go ahead and refresh. What is this music playing right now? Mole Mania from 1996. <laughs> what? Never even heard of that. There's probably going to be so many games we've never heard of over time. All right. So if PayPal would just refresh, I can open some cards for people. Oh, there it goes. There is currently no wait times. If you guys want to open any pokies at all, you won't have to wait in order to open them. Let's make sure I didn't miss any pre-orders, actually. I might have missed a pre-order. I think somebody mentioned they were thinking about it. No, no pre-orders. What's up, guys? The music is fire. These are Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, and Game Boy Color soundtracks. Pokies on demand. <laughs> So let's talk a little bit about the large. The large is, like any of my custom boosters, uh, a, a box of custom boosters where you will mostly pull just hollows and reverse hollows and non-hollows, and then one very lucky person will pull a very large hit. In this case, it will be Espeon, Umbreon. However, I'm thinking about making it so that there's one person pulls the Umbre uh, the uh, Espeon and one person pulls the Umbreon. So there might actually be two individual hot pulls in this box. What do you guys think? Do you guys actually prefer that? Or do you guys like it to be a single hit where you get both cards? Let me know which one you guys prefer because I feel like your odds are better when there's two hot pulls. But obviously the reward is much better or the hot pull is much hotter if it's a single set with both of them. You know what I mean? Raz says he wants it to be split. Raku says two hits. All right. Sounds good. So that's how we'll run this large. There will actually be two individual hits. Uh, one for the Umbreon, one for the Espeon. Let's look up how many spots there are for the large. Let's see. For this large... There's a total of 28 spots. So there's 28 spots, and uh, up to five of them have already been ordered, which means there's 23 booster packs left, and when all of those booster packs have been ordered, we'll open up the whole thing and find out who pulls the Umbreon and the Espeon. That's how that works. Ooh. 
We also have the Fossil Custom, which no one has shown any interest to. I might end the Fossil Customs. I think I will. Mr. Justin Huerta, uh, I'm going to write down here that he's got 40 bucks. Mr. Justin, I can refund this or I can... I can refund it or I can have you spend it on something else if you'd like to have store credit. So here this is, Mr. Justin. If he doesn't get back to me on this, I'll go ahead and just refund it through PayPal. I'm sure it won't take me much effort. Uh, I think we'll take a break from the fossil for a while uh, because I think that the interest in the fossil has kind of, kind of ended. Now, there were four packs that had been sold off. TCC, Nurses, Justin Huerta, and Adam Mundorf. You know what I think we should do tonight? If we're going to have a slow night, we should definitely open them. So we're going to open some Fossil Boosters. And I'm going to remove the Fossil Boosters from our menu. So here it is. Fossil Custom Booster being removed right now. There we go. All right. And let's go grab that Fossil Booster box, huh? Are there any cards you regret selling in the past and wish you had them back? Well, when I got back into grading, I bought three Dark Charizards PSA 10 First Edition. And back then they cost like $800 to $1,000. And I sold two of them for like $1,000 because I was like, you know what? That's too many Charizards for me. I want the $1,000 back. Now they go for like $5,000 to $8,000, literally like times five my money. So if I had just held those, I would have done very well. So that was wrong of me to sell them. Okay, get excited, guys. We're going to be opening up some first edition fossil booster packs from 20 years ago. Uh, and, you know, I'll hold on to the remaining packs or maybe I'll toss them into some sort of special prize every now and then. Who knows what I'll do with the remaining packs. But, you know, we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six packs will be left over. I don't know what I'll do with them. Maybe I'll sell them as light and heavy packs so that people can actually uh, buy them without having to make a guess. Here they are. Oh, the remaining packs. This is a special night. What do we have here? So this is an empty booster box, and it's got nice mini corners, too. I'm going to be saving this for myself. And one day, I'll make a shelf out of all our empty booster boxes. It'll be so cool. All right, let me put this up top. To save all those memories. So what we normally would do over here is we would... Uh, we would shuffle the names of the packs. However, there aren't that many names. There's more packs than names. So let's let's count these up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten remaining packs. Here's what I'm gonna do. Because we always apply randomness. That's very important to have randomness. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. And we're just gonna number them, right? So one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, so we've got ten energy cards for ten booster packs. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these up, and then we'll just hand them out in the, the order that they were purchased. So I bought one for myself. I bought one for myself because I need one of the artworks. Shoot, I don't remember which artwork I need. Oh, I'm so dumb. Well, maybe I'll just send the remaining light packs off no matter what. That would be a good idea. Okay, here we go. Shuffle time. All right. Shuffling it up. Fossil Vintage from 20 years ago. If you guys like to see the good vintage stuff, be sure to hit the like button to show your appreciation. Okay, and... Well, <laughs> that's not really going to work. <laughs> All right, that's the best we can do. Somebody pick a number. Jeff Leon says three, one, two, three. There you go, Mr. Jeff. All right. So we're going to find out which pack I get. I get pack number six, 
Okay, we'll write number six next to my name. Nurses gets pack number eight. All right, Mr. Nurses. Uh, Justin Huerta gets pack number nine. Okay, Mr. Justin. And Adam Mundorf gets pack number five. All right, number five. Very good. We can throw the rest of these away. It's kind of cool. Six, five, eight, nine. Let's get the scale. Oops. There we go. So now you're going to watch. One, two, three, four. That's the first four. They get moved off to the side. This belongs to Adam Mundorf. And uh, I'm going to need some of these in a second. Okay, we got our fit sleeves. Adam Mundorf, let's see what his weighs. 21.4. Adam Mundorf has a heavy pack. Outstanding, Mr. Adam. Congratulations. I think that's heavy, right? Very lucky, dude. Because remember, you have about a one in three odds of a heavy pack. There we go. Come on now. All right. Mr. Adam. I'll set that to the side. Okay, so we that's pack number five. Pack number six is mine. Oh, that sucks. So if his is heavy, mine's probably light. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> 21.0. So it indeed is light. I'm going to set it off to the side. I don't need to mark it or anything because it's just going to me. Okay, pack number seven was claimed by no one. Pack number, oops, pack number eight goes to nurses. Good luck, nurses. 21.35, that's looking like a heavy one, Mr. Nurses. I'm gonna write down nurses. It's looking like a heavy one. I sure hope it is, and maybe there will be another Dragonite in our box, who knows? We had two uh, dittos in our box, so duplicates are a thing. Uh, and number nine is Mr. Justin Huerta. Good luck, Justin. Come on, Justin. Uh, 20.99. That's definitely going to be a cold pack like mine. I'm sorry, Justin. You're in the same boat as me. So two cold packs, two hot packs, which is a very high rate for the, the uh, hot packs, believe it or not. Getting two out of uh, four packs, that is a much higher pull rate than one out of three which means there's probably one heavy pack left, if even one. So give me a moment. This is going to say, uh, oh, right, Justin Huerta on it. And we're going to write down uh, 20.99, which is what I saw on the scale. Now, you can open it if you want, but we already pulled non-hollow Dragonite out, so I don't know if it's, if it's worth the risk. There you go, Justin Huerta. Nurses and Adam Moondorf. Now, for Mr. Moondorf and Nurses, I recommend opening your packs. Congratulations on that. I think the method I used was actually in your guys' favor because it gave you a higher chance of, of sniping heavy packs. If I had taken the top four packs off the box and then sorted just between those, the pull rate would not have been that good, I think. All right, so let's go ahead and check the remaining packs for any other heavy packs. We got That's Light. That is a light pack. That is a light pack. 21.45. That appears to be heavy. That is a light pack. And 21.5. That's heavy too. Hmm. I wonder if we... Uh, that's, I, I'm worried that nurses might have a light pack. Let's, let's reweigh nurses just to be safe. Do we have that many heavy packs left in the box? 21.36. Yeah, we measured it correctly the first time. I don't know. Very cool. So now I'd like to go ahead and mark these down as heavy and light. So these two pack are heavy. And I'm going to mark them so I don't lose track of them. Uh, you guys are welcome to try and purchase these from me. I could open them myself. That would be awfully good content for TikTok. 
Uh, but, you know, maybe we could work out a price on a heavy pack. These remaining light packs, I think what I might do... Wow, that look at that Lapras. That looks really clean. So I think what I might do with these remaining packs, I think these will all be sent off, and these will be sent off to uh, grade. It, it, it concerns me that they're Lapras and Zapdos because the light pack I'm missing is, uh, well, it's possible that those were the two that I had. Who had the, Mr. Justin, did you have a different type you had? No, you also have Lapras. Okay, no luck then. <laughs> So hopefully I had the other one. What would it be, Aerodactyl? Hopefully I had an Aerodactyl. I'm gonna send these off. All right. How much for a light pack? Well, these are these are gonna be shipped off to PSA to grade, so none of those are for sale at all. When they come back, I'll probably ask a very nice price on them, very handsome price. That's right. Light packs are not a death sentence. If you get a light pack, a lot of the time, the trick is to just leave it sealed and send it off to grade. You know it's an authentic pack because you got it here on my channel with uh, the card economist from our box break. So it's an authentic pack. It hasn't been resealed. You can send it in, get it authenticated. It has a high chance of grading 10 because it came straight out of a fresh box. And, uh, you know, a 10 of a light pack is still pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and place this up top. Sweet. And here's the heavy pack. So we got two heavy packs. Now, the rules are, if you get a heavy pack, we got to open your pack. That's always been the rule when we open up boxes. Mr. Justin Huerta can keep his sealed. We are now going to open up Mr. Adam Mundorf's and Nurse's packs. We're going to start with Adam Mundorf's. His is a bit heavier. Are you ready? So this is for Adam Mundorf. Here it goes. I'll take four vivid for my fossil custom refund, please. Sounds good. All right. We just opened a 20 year old pack, guys. Are you excited? <laughs> it's, it never gets boring. I love opening these. Here we go. We've got Gambler. I'm going to put them on top of the pack. I like to do that. Gambler. Geodude. Ekans, Energy Search, Tentacool, Recycle. Oh, there's the Psyduck. He's the best common uncommon. Okay, this is definitely Raichu. Or, or it's Electrode. What is it? It's Raichu! <laughs> Way better than Electrode. Wait, Electrode's Jungle. No, no, no. So you, you never had to worry about Electrode. It could have been Magneton. So, but Raichu's way better than Magneton. Congratulations to Adam Moondorf. That round of the lar or of the Fossil Custom paid off for you a lot more than you even knew it was going to. Holy. You also have Tentacruel, Weezing, and Golbat for your uncommons. Congratulations, Mr. Adam Moondorf. These go back into the bag. Is that how I do it? I think that's what I do. You know what? I'm not going to do it that way. How have I been doing it? I think I do just put them back in the uh, the bag, right? Oh, okay, yeah, they slide back in. Okay, cool. <laughs> it's a nice place for them to rest. Now, here's your right shoe. Let me go ahead and sleeve them up with the card grader. All right. You guys want to examine it with me? Let's see. Well, right off the bat, I'm seeing a little print line right there. That's that's tough, man. Probably going to be a 9. <laughs> Still, that's a first edition PSA 9 Fossil Raichu. It's a really nice card. And uh, hopefully at least a 9, because there's always a chance it turns into an 8, right? That would be worse. Okay, there's Mr. Adam Moondorf's Raichu. Still very valuable as a, as a Raichu 9. Now, Mr. Nurses is next. Nurses, are you nervous? Nurses could get Magneton. He could get um, Muck is a really tough pull. Yeah, Magneton and Muff, uh, Muck, those are the two we're scared of. And uh, so far, we've been very lucky because we haven't pulled them. All right, but let's see if that luck ends. All 
I'm scared for you, mister. We're all praying. We're all whapping. Worship and pray. Man, you got this annoying thing that happens with the foil. All right, let's see. There we go. All right. Mr. Nurses, good luck. Congratulations for winning the Fossil Custom. You know, getting the hot pull out of there. Here's Energy Search. Horsey. Ammonite. Another Psyduck, everyone. The hottest common uncommon from Fossil. There's Ekans. Mysterious Fossil. Geodude. Oh, no. What's it going to be? Ah! Oh! Aerodactyl Hollow. Excellent. You also pick up Cloyster, Slowbro, and Arbok. I like that Slowbro. Let's leave up that Aerodactyl. What a great box of Fossil that was, guys. I'm really impressed. There it is. Aerodactyl ho uh, Hollow. I almost called him Fossil. Of course, he's from Fossil. Let's go ahead and put him into a card grader for you, and we'll get these back into their, their pack. Wow. Four packs, guys, and two of them were heavy. Congratulations to Adam Moondorf, and congratulations to Nurses. You guys really struck gold with those fossil customs. And we'll have something like that again in the future. All right. I'm very jelly. You know, my favorite card from this set is obviously Dragonite. I think that's everyone's favorite. But I'm also a huge fan of the uh, Gengar. Really big fan of the Gengar. Is that a little spider? What is that? All right, nurses. Now these special little baggies go into a different holding uh, area. And it's an area just for vintage stuff. So I'll be moving those off the table and into that box. You guys might've seen it before. It's sitting off to the side. Adam Moondorf, your cards will be there as well. Uh, you guys, of course, can ask for shipping. Justin Huerta, you can have me open your live, uh, your your pack if you want, but we believe this is cold. We're almost sure it is. Uh, and what I recommend is you send it off to grade. That's my recommendation. Now, I can send it off to grade for you if you want, or you can do it yourself at home. Okay, excellent. Loving the vintage. Now, I've put these into card graders, but of course you guys have not paid to grade these. Maybe you want to wait until PSA opens up, or maybe you want to grade them for cheaper at CGC. Uh, that's up to you guys. I'm going to place them inside of the card grading box anyways, but I know they're there, okay? And I know they haven't been paid for. Just to set them somewhere nice for now. And we can finally get rid of this. Sweet. And now we're just looking at the NFL Prism cards. Remember, the next round of the NFL Prism is only six packs away, so we're quite close. And then this is the actual NFL Prism list. We'll go ahead and write the, the actual price down. It's 218 per pack. Okay, it's quite expensive because you can pull some extremely valuable cards out of this box. That's why it costs so much, right? That's how it works with pretty much all tradable card uh, collections. Wow, what a great stream already. Let's see what people want to open up now. We had a little slow point, and that's why we opened up that, the fossil. All right, I'm loading. God, this is great music. This is uh, Pokemon Gold. What's the name of the exact song? We're at 49 minutes in. Is it the uh, Park song? I can't remember. It's called National Park. That's the name of this song. From, from Gold and Silver. Really great times. Oops. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. All right, here we are. So, after Mr. Gomia, we have Targon Savern. What's up, Targon? He says, can I get another Phantom Rage box? Oh, wait. Before we do that, before we do that, Mr. Justin said he would take four Vivid. Right. Four Vivid for Mr. Justin. You got it, Justin. Thank you for being so patient, Justin. All right. We'll take care of this first because it's... 
I think it's smarter to take care of this first. Snip. All right, here it goes. We've got Electros. Sweet. Here's Zebra Strika, or Zeb Strika. And Drapion. Oh, man, it's Drapion. We also get, oh, there you go, Zamazenta. He's not a very good Amazing Rare. I think he's the weakest one in terms of popularity. But you know what? You pulled an Amazing Rare. <laughs> sometimes that's just, you got to appreciate what you get sometimes. Because it could have been worse. It could have been a Hollow. And then the next guy could pull the Amazing Rare Zamazenta. Something is better than nothing. It's like girlfriends. Sometimes you got to settle, guys. <laughs> I'm just teasing. All right, cool. And Justin, let's find your bag. Justin with the J. He's going to be in the JU box. We got Jack Walsh. Jeff. Jedediah. I love that name, Jedediah. Jared. Jimmy. He says thanks again. No problem, man. Jacob. James. I hope that if you grade your light pack from the uh, fossil break, I hope you get a 10 on yours. You know, those sell for a lot of money when they grade 10. And even when they grade nine, you can still sell them for a pretty decent price. Like they, let me, let me mention this. They never go for less than the market rate for an ungraded pack. And they usually go for more than, a, a ungra, you know, an ungraded pack. The nines, here's Jesse, J. Manuel. Justin, did you need a new bag? You might need a new bag. I'll go ahead and create a new one. Speaking of which, this box is really full. He says, my bag is thick. Oh, mister, you should have said. All right, we're hunting for a thick Justin Huerta bag. We've got Ever, Treminio, Pokey Kobe, Emiliano, Alan Tan, Michael Cusick. Who's this? Luke. I don't think you're in this pile. Let's see. Kelby DeLoon, Dan Newman, Dan Newman. Who's this? Jeremy something? Looking for Mr. Justin Huerta. Ramiro, Earth Savior. How about over here? This will be Dave Jantz. Louis Laura and Raphael. Well, I can't seem to find you, mister, so I'm going to create a secondary new bag for you. Maybe if I stand up. Let me try standing up real fast. Sometimes that does it. There's Haunted, Dan, Jack Gray. Who's this? Joe Harris. Man, Joe Harris has been over here for a while. Jacob Kai. Hmm. You know, it's interesting. I feel like you did have a fat bag. I just can't find it. Well... Let me just check up top one more time. J. Manuel. There's so many bags. Sorry, mister, I gave your bag away. Let me check in here one more time. Let me tell you something. I think you're in here, right? You got a big fat bag in here. Oh, I'm crazy. Oh, Justin, I've been looking in the wrong box the whole time. I'm looking in the JE box. All right, I'm dumb. <laughs> I think I need to go back to kindergarten for my ABCs. Here you go, Justin. Justin, you had a case where your bag is fat, but I kept it in the actual table box rather than putting it in the overflow. I think it's time for it to go into the overflow so we don't do that mistake again. Because once you said fat bag, I, I said, okay, it's definitely the overflow. Then I gave up on the boxes. I'm dumb. All right, there we go. A, B, C, D, Targo's Tavern. He wants a box of Phantom Rage. Let's see if I have one. Oh, I don't think I do. We got three Blazing Vortex. No, we got two Blazing Vortex. Not three, but two. Okay, yeah, we do have two. So, Mr. Targon's Tavern. Targon's Tavern, I have Blazing Vortex. Could I open that for you instead? I do not have any more Phantom Rage. I'm gonna remove it from the description. I apologize. Give me a minute. 
All right, I'm gonna go ahead and save that. Mr. Targon, here, maybe I can mention it in the square to him. Here it is, Targon. Oops, bumping my cherry zard. Mr. Targon's Tavern, I got Blazing Vortex, but I do not have Phantom Rage. Let me know if you would like to do that trade or if I should get you a refund. He wants Vivid Voltage. He said seven Vivid. Who did? Mr. Targon Tavern? Hold on, let me scroll up. I probably missed the message. Hold on. Just gotta see it come from him. Oh, there it is. Oh, wait a second. No, I didn't see it. He was talking to somebody else. Oh. I didn't see his message. Mr. Targon, if you want seven, if you want seven vivid. Oh, there he goes. Vivid voltage. You got it. Vivid voltage. Seven of them. Six, seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What's up, Russ? He says, how's your day? You just tried the new BTS Korean meal from McDonald's. Really good. I want to try the new BTS meal from McDonald's. I didn't know McDonald's had a new BTS meal. I'll make sure that that doesn't get messed up. It's Santa, Russ. Ho, ho, ho. All right, here goes. Sneep. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. There we go. Thank you, Mr. Targon. I appreciate I appreciate you working with me on that. Let's find out what you get in your vivid. We've got my Yina. We have Ampharos. Mister, I'm coming. I'm horny. Here's your Ampharos. So nice. How about Flareon Hollow? He's a little off center. Oh, there you go. Reverse Hollow Charizard. Very nice. Vivid Voltage continues to impress. There's just so many hits in this set. Cape of Toughness. There's a Cape of Toughness. Two more packs. Come on, Amazing Rare. He wants an Amazing Rare. Here's Ryolu. One last chance for an Amazing Rare. And it is... It is just Fortress. No Amazing Rare. All right. Very cool. It's the fourth Charizard tonight. I know. We've got so many Charizards. It's Charizard Central. Mr. Targon. Very nice. Targon with the T. Targon with the T. I didn't put you up top, did I? I did put you up top. Here we go. And uh, Targon, you still had a bag. Or a box. You still had a box. So I'll go ahead and box these up for you. You got those antiquated book boxes. <laughs> We should put this somewhere like here. Here we go. Sweet. Who's next? After Targon Tavern, we got Patrick Diaz Depes. He says, Mr. One, large custom. You got it. All right. The large moving a little bit. Patrick Diaz Depes. All right. What music are we listening to? This this track is Final Fantasy for the original Game Boy. Wow. Older than me. No, I'm just kidding. I was around for the original Game Boy. I was a little kid, though. Are the My Little Pony packs a real thing, or is that a meme? 
It is real. My Little Pony. <laughs> My Little Pony. Get your brownie shirts out, guys. We're going to pull Rapidash. Ah, darn. No hollows in that pack. <laughs> you missed a, a hollow Zapdos in that last pack. Uh, I'm sure I did not. There was a fortress, and behind it was the Zapdos, but I actually included that in his hollows. But more importantly, Targon keeps all of his bulk anyways. In fact, actually, Mr. Targon, I'm going to bring your bag back down and grab your hollow, your actual hollows. There they are. And these are going to go in your bulk box so they're not cluttering up the table. All right, there you go. So either way, he, he would have gotten it either way. There's just no way for him to miss them because he keeps all of his bulk. All right, John Gamia. He says, hello again. Can I get one spot in the large? All right, the large is moving a little bit tonight, huh? That's cool. That's cool. I ain't no brony. Not yet, mister. Join, brother. John Gamia. I'm not a brony either, just, bit, just to clarify. I'm just playing along. But you know what? Some people really like them, and I don't I don't ask questions. If you tell me to open something, I open it. Simple. I don't ask any questions. He says, five sword and shield base. Weird stream today, isn't it? That's right. We got so many fossil packs open. That's very unusual. One, two, three, four, five. Woohoo! Just made an order. What's up, Taterade? Sleep. One, two. Three, four. Oh, that was the end of the music. Sneep. I'm not a brony. You're a brony. Whirr. Let me get this music playing again. All right, there we go. Stunfisk. Oh. Here's. Oh, what did I tell you? Snorlax VMAX is in this set. Here's a VMAX card you should grade every time. Vitality Band, and it's Rapidash. Or, uh, no, I was trying to say one of the uh, pony names. Rainbow Dash. Woo! Here's Diglett. Pokemon trying to get on, get in on that pony territory, you know what I mean? Ferrothorn. All right. How are the evolutions today? Have you had any good pulls to this stream? <laughs> yes. However, I'm sold out of them. Uh, and I open up two hollow Charizards and a Charizard EX for myself today. Not all in this live stream, but actually one of them was open in this live stream. It was really remarkable. I was just trying to clear out the remaining evolutions because I figured I'd already pulled one of the Charizards. So I was like, there's no more Charizards like this in the... in the." There were only like six packs left. But I opened the next six packs and voila, another one came out. It was really shocking. So, these were for none other than John Gamia. All right, Mr. John. John went deeper, and it still paid off. It's pretty amazing. Next up, we've got Mike Hoover. He says, 10 Japanese team-ups. And I need some more team-ups. I'll be right back. I need a box of team up. What should I open on TikTok next? I don't even know. You know it's weird on TikTok, the uh, the really expensive Japanese vintage packs do not get as many views as I would hope for, and it's almost like well if they don't get that many views, I don't want to open them all there. All right. Lovely, lovely team up. Oh, I should have grabbed some of the Lost Thunder too when I was standing. I'm so dumb. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So this is for Mike Hoover. Mr. Mike. I'd stick to English on TikTok. People may not care for Japanese cards as much. Well, I've had some, I guess I've had some Japanese packs do well. There we go. It's Japanese team, same as tag team. All right, here goes. Good luck to our friend Mike Hoover. We've got Electrode. Cold. 
cold. When are you restocking? They are on the way already, so they should be here in very few number of days, and they'll be totally fresh. You don't want the ones I was opening, because we already pulled the Charizards out. We'll have totally fresh ones. Gr uh, Gang uh, I almost call him Greninja. Gengar and Mimikyu. Woo! Loving that GX. Here's Gyarados, looking very Gyarados-y. Cold. And, oh, Bill. And that's cold. Sweet. All right. Mr. Over 200 viewers on Twitch. Really? How's it going, Twitch? Twitch, we open up Pokemon cards every night. But normally we open them on YouTube because uh, I'm a little bit of a YouTube simp. Uh, but we've been wanting to expand on Twitch. And uh, that's interesting. 200 viewers over there, huh? Very cool. Mr. Mike. Mike Cooper. He'll be in the inbox, right? <laughs> Here's a Mike Hoover. Mike Hoover got a Charizard EX. Look at that. We both got we're Charizard EX brothers now. I wonder who will get the better grade. All right. Next up, we got Cameron. What's up, Cameron? He wants one box of Yu-Gi-Oh! Phantom Rage. Oh, no. Mr. Cameron, uh, I have the same problem with you that I had with Targon's Tavern. Let me mute this. God, that's loud. <laughs> so, I do not have any more of the Phantom Rage. I have Blazing Vortex. If you would like to open up a sealed box of Blazing Vortex, similar to Phantom Rage, uh, there is a uh, there is a Starlight Rare in here that goes for a lot of money, just like Phantom Rage. However, if you would like for me to refund the $70, I would be happy to do that. Or you can have me open something else, Okay. Reflection. What? What about the reflection? Cameron says, let's do Blazing Vortex. Sounds good, Mr. Cameron. Let's do it. All right. How much will EV Heroes be when they arrive? Gosh, don't expect them to be super cheap. That's all I can say. My suspicion is the demand for EV heroes will be crazy. So I would, if you're patient, you will get a better price, okay? That's the truth. If you're patient, you'll get a better price. Uh, the first day it lands, there's going to be people who they just spend money and they don't, you know, they got money. You know what I'm saying? They've got money and they've got a hole in their pocket. They're waiting to spend it. So it's not going to be cheap the first day. Uh, but if you wait, maybe like a week, the price will definitely come down. And also, it, a lot of it has to do with the amount of it available to anyone. Okay, so if they're if they're just really expensive because everyone in the Pokemon community is opening them like crazy, this will cost them to be expensive. So keep that all in mind. But let's point out, Vivid Voltage, by the way, has gotten not more expensive over time. A lot of these sets that came out that were really expensive, like Shining Fates, fell considerably in price, probably because Pokemon has been able to keep up with the printing finally. And maybe there's been a little bit of a lull in mainstream attention, right? So Logan Paul hasn't done another box break for a while. And uh, yeah, you can you can hope to see the EV, EV Hero Packs go down in price over time, but I'm not sure if that'll happen. I just think it will happen. All right, Sneep. But I can't tell you the price until they arrive because I don't know the price until they arrive. All right, look at all those tops. Those pack tops. There we go. Boop. Pack number one. We've got... It's Wind Witch. So nice. Pack number two is Great Sansi. Pack number three. EMR. Pack number four. Oh, you've got... It's a secret, I can't speak, secret rare waifu S-Force Rappa Kiyomaru. <laughs> All right, very nice, mister. What's next? Here's Parametal Foes. What's next, what's next, what's next? We've got Constellar. And look at this, another waifu, mister. So this is not a secret rare, rare, but we gotta save that one. Metal Foes, Metal Foes Finisher. Heh, 
I was only using 10% of my power. Sorry, kid. Here's War Rock Gactos. Oh, my lord. EMR is the shortest Yu-Gi-Oh name I've seen. That is a, a very a true observation. I think you're right. That is definitely the shortest one I've seen. EMR, the shortest name. Here's Angel Statue. Here's Seven Cities. Here's Psychic Eraser. And S-Force, sweet. Eldlich, the Mad Golden Lord. All right, very cool. Look at that. Very cool. So that's your other secret rare. Now, I think you can get three secret rares in a single box. Haven't we seen that? We've seen a box with a single secret rare as well. Here's White Baking. S-Force Platina. Maha. Could I get those bulk Yugi's? You wish, mister. Well, in, uh, hmm. You can, uh, I, I, I had a rule. I remember this in the past. I had a rule where that was not allowed. And the reason that wasn't allowed was because I didn't want a scenario where people would group together buy a single box, a single bulk box, and then, you know, fill it up and run my shipping costs up. Because the point of the bulk box was to have people pay for the shipping of bulk cards, right? So I think I'm going to stick to those old rules and say no. And it's not because I actually do anything with Yu-Gi-Oh! Bulk. To tell you the truth, I mainly throw this away. All right. Sorry, Mr. Targon. Targon, what do you do with it? I'm curious. What do you do with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Bulk? Does it, does it actually have some kind of value? I'm back and forth torn. What's up, Tokimon? You play. Oh, very interesting. Very interesting, mister. All right, Cameron says he needs a bag. Cameron, I like your pulls. S-Force, Rappa, Kayomaru, and Eldritch, the Mad Golden Lord. Look at that, guys. Not a bad set. You know, if you could get either of these in a Starlight Rare, that'd be very cool. But I don't exactly know how they choose Starlight Rares. Is it any card could be Starlight, or is it, like, only a few of them, like the best ones? I don't even know. All right. Welcome, welcome, Mr. Cameron. Cameron Bond. There we go. Sweet. And you need to go into the C box. Oh, I know this song. Oh, that's the RoboCop song again, of course. We just heard it. That's why I recognized it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and refresh. Dude, this is a groovy song. I can't believe it's 8-bit and it's still so groovy. Holy moly. All right, we're refreshing. Next up, we got Luis Rodriguez. He says, NFL Custom, one vivid voltage. Luis Rodriguez would be my bag, but I think you shipped it. Mr. Lewis, it hasn't been shipped yet. It, it's in a labeled up box, but I brought it inside because we need to check it for Shining Fates, right? So I've got it sitting on a shelf right now, and I was going to do that after the live stream, okay? Let's go ahead and take care of your take care of your current order. We'll put you down here for Mr. Lewis Rodriguez. There you go, Mr. Lewis. And let's see what you pull out of your pack. Could be hot. Could be uh, an amazing rare. But it is Loudred. I'm sorry, mister. One Loudred. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a new bag for you, though. And anything else you order tonight, I might be able to combine into your outgoing shipping bag. They're nice to look at and hold. Good value without the playability, so it makes some sense. I'd sell my whole collection. Several Charizards. Let's do a vintage pack break. A vintage pack break... That's a nightly special. So tonight's special is the NFL Custom Prism. There you go, Mr. Lewis. So I'll put this into the L box. Very nice. Next up, we got Richard Johnson. He says, I have a bag, 12 Vivid and 20 Matchless and one General Mills. Wow, that's a really large order, mister. 
General Mills. Oh, right. I need to mark those as last day. So there's General Mills. Let's get the 12 vivid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And ugh, 12. There we go. You know what's crazy tonight? We haven't opened up like a whole box of basketball yet. <laughs> We're getting a lot of basketball orders the other night. So 20 matchless, huh? I don't know if you can handle 20 matchless. Pull the whole camera down if I'm not careful. Okay. So I need to count these up. Oops. Be a little careful there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We've got 18. Nineteen twenty. All right, guys, we got a really big order for Mr. Richard Johnson. He's decided that he wants to go deep. I pre appreciate that, Mr. Richard. We'll start with your Vivid. Now, I think that you're going to get an amazing rare in this Vivid. Hope, hopefully you do. It'd be really strange if you didn't. It would mean that both amazing rares are on the other side of the box somehow. I, I think that's happened like one time where both amazing rares were on the other half of the box. We've opened a lot of Vivid on this channel. You know, we've opened a lot of Vivid, and we have not pulled a lot of those uh, Pikachu Hypers, the VMAXs. So those are definitely rare pulls. All right, are you ready? Here goes. Drone Rotom, pack number two. Oh, I thought that was the Hyper Rare. Very nice, Pikachu VMAX. Sweet! What's next? Glaring Meowth. There's the Raikou Amazing Rare. All right, well, you've already done well with your 10 packs, picking, picking up Pikachu and Raikou. But you know what? You're just started. So maybe two or three more hits if you're lucky. Here's Electrode. Hold on. I just realized we were not checking the reverse hollows. Swoobat and Duskull. There we go. Those are important to check. All right, what's next? Metagross. We've got Dewat. Bo! Oh, mister! Mister who loves the feet. At first, I was like... Wait, how does the TikTok meme go? At first, I was like, mmm, feet, as a joke. Yeah, that's how it goes. At first, I was like, mmm, feet, as a joke. But, bro, I don't think it's a joke anymore. All right, and... Ah, oh, Metagross. All right, Metagross. Sweet. Man, listen to this music. So, your pulls from Vivid Voltage were extremely good, picking up both Full Art, Pikachu VMAX, and an Amazing Rare. Uh, that's about as good as it gets, Mr. Richard. The only thing you could have done better is picked up maybe like Hyper Rare Pikachu, which who knows if he's in the box or not. Oh my God, he got Chowies out. That's right. Sneep. What does TCC do with the bulk? Uh, I do sell some of the bulk, and uh, I've got... Uh, the other thing I do with the bulk is I just have an enormous bulk pile. I could show you. It's in the other room. It's all boxed up in various ways, and it really just sits there. Uh, but, you know, I haven't... The reason it the reason it piles up is because I don't like to sell it because it's too much work to sell it. Sometimes my wife, when she's got too much time on her hands, she'll try to sell some, uh, and that's usually the only time it gets sold. But she doesn't like to work, you know, two jobs, so she doesn't do it very often at all. All right, here we go, Richard Johnson. So with these General Mills packs, you always get a holographic Pikachu, and he looks great. The hope is that you get two hollows. So these packs, you get two hollows when you get a hit. And you get, oh, just the Pikachu. That's all right. The Pikachu looks fantastic. 
Okay. Build a boat out of bulk? Maybe that's what I need to do. It'll be the very first of its kind. Here we go. Very nice. All right, let's see what we got. Donate them to a hospital. I might do that. I might do that because they're, they're an awful hassle and they take up so much room. All right, here's... Ah! Inteleon. All right, Inteleon. Cold. Oops, my bad. Here's Zapdos. I put in an order for ponies. Oh, very nice. For your kids, huh? Very cool. Ah, that was just a cold pack. Oh, picking up Brawly. I think that's Brawly, right? Brawly Full Art. Very nice. Cold. Here's Beedrill. Cold. And Rune Rigus. Oh, Mister. Cold. Here's Urshifu. I tried donating bulk to a children's hospital, but they wouldn't take it because it wasn't sealed. Oh, very interesting. Okay. They might have different... Oh! Did he just pull two secret rares? This came out of the same box. He just pulled two secret rares out of the same box. I've never seen that. I've only ever seen a secret rare and a hyper rare. Wow, that's the first time. Very cool. Cold. Maybe it's an accident. Maybe the maybe it's not supposed to work out that way. Cold. Here's Blaziken. He gonna do a a knee kick. And cold. And Moltres. Mr. Richard Johnson, thank you so much for that large order. You know, when you guys make an order, you really do support the channel. Uh, and basically, you're paying me uh, a working wage. So I really appreciate that, everyone. It's a fun time out here, and we get to see a lot of cards get open, too. Okay. Mr. Richard. Now, you should have a bag already. Here it is, Richard Johnson. I'm going to go ahead and toss these in here. Boop. I'm going to grab a second bag. Actually, you know, I should have done that the other way around. What I should have done is the new bag should be for the hollows. So you got all your hollows. And which one should I put in the front? I think we got to put Bo in the front because she's showing off her feet. It just makes sense. There we go. Mr. Richard Johnson. What a great round. And you know, not every round is that hot, guys. Some rounds are a bit more cold than that. So he, he did well there. Hopefully everyone does, but it doesn't actually always work out that way. James Gower says, one of the custom boosters for, for the prism. All right, you got it, James. Thank you so much, James. James Gower. Austin Simpson, he says, four battle styles. Four of them, you got it. One, two, three, four. Four battle styles. He also wants one champion's path. Is this a champion's path? It sure is. Sweet. It's actually been a pretty hot night. I agree, man. Well, we started things out right. Well, wait a second. Did I grab that right? We started things out right by opening up some vintage fossil, and that was really cool. Sneak. Sneak. So I just want to mention, by the way, we're doing the custom NFL prism packs for now. The live custom boosters will return. You just got to be patient, okay? For anyone who misses the live custom boosters, those are coming back, but not until we're done with the NFL prism, okay? I just want to mention that to all of you. If you missed the live custom boosters, maybe try out the NFL prism. Who knows? Maybe you'll get really lucky. But just remember to only order as much as you're willing to lose. I should also say that, right? So here we go, Mr. Austin. How's it going, Austin? You pick up. It's Flapple V. Ooh. Pack number two. Here's Houndoom and Phalanx. And we've got Kingdra. Ma choke me, Daddy. Oh, my. He's getting ready to choke me, too. What the? 
and Tower of Darkness. All right, mister. That's five packs, one hit. That's actually the standard pull rate. It would have been nicer, though, if your hit had been like a hyper rare, right? Mr. Austin, is that your first order, Austin Simpson? I think I thought I, I thought I heard Austin say that was his first purchase. Let's just start looking for his bag while we wait for an answer. Austin Simpson. Let's just double check. Ardenan, Alexander, Aiden, Adam Adorf, Alex, Austin Newsom. He says, yes, that's my first. All right, I'm gonna get you a bonus card because I like to get you a bonus card when you first start. Here's a full art Eevee and it's sleeved up. It's, it's still packaged. Did you guys know? I bet you guys didn't know this. Did you know you could actually grade this EV VMAX as a booster pack as long as you keep it sealed? Very cool, right? So that's your bonus card, full art Eevee. Welcome to the table. Now, for those of you who are new, so there might be a few new people, I just want to mention when you order cards, if you want the free shipping, what you need to do for free shipping, there's a step, okay? You got to go to the Discord server. We have a channel called Please Ship, and you got to write me a message in there that you're ready for the free shipping. Try to tell me what you have, too. Like, oh, I've got a bag, I've got a slab. You know, tell me what you need shipped. All right. Do they grade the card or the plastic? They grade the plastic, actually. So it's kind of an interesting concept because if the card is very off-center, it could be better to grade the pack rather than the card. Austin Simpson, going in the A-box. And I need to get off my foot. Oh, man. Been sitting on that foot all night. Next up, we got Evan Shea. He says eight matchless fighters. Oh, Evan Shea. That was a tough time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That was a tough time to jump into the box because not one, but two secret rares have been pulled just now. Woo. You guys talking about the scissors? I'm a big fan of opening packs with scissors. It's fast, uh, keeps your hands from growing tired. You know, something you guys don't think about when it comes to opening packs, uh, if you open them every single day for like three to five hours a day, your hands can get tired, just like a factory worker. So using the scissors uh, actually takes a lot of pressure off of my hands. That's another reason to do it. Ah, oh, Galarian Slow King. How sexy. What else we got? Cold. Here's Beedrill. New house, new chair. What? Look, I got my old chair. Galarian Slow King again. Not bad, not bad. Cold. And, ah! Tornadus! There's Tornadus. Wait, did I say Tornadus? Thunderous. Let's get the names right. King of the castle, king of the castle. I have a chair. This goes into Mr. Evan Shea's bag. Evan, you're way over here. Behind Ever Tremenio. Why you got a fat bag, dude? TCC gave me the special Firebird when I started. What? You're talking about Shining Ho-Oh, aren't you? Back then, Shining Ho-Oh was only worth $5, but today it's actually really expensive. It works the same way. I mean, someday uh, the Charizard Vs that I would hand out from Champion's Path, and I don't have very many of those left at all, but someday all those Charizard Vs I handed out for like new people and for people who had bad uh, pulls for the night, you know, those would be expensive too one day. I think they're already kind of expensive. And uh, the EVV Max is probably the same deal. Eventually, it could take like a year or two, but one day they'll be kind of expensive. Maybe. Who knows? Depends on how many were printed. Mister, you still have the cut Hidden Fates Zard on the table? Uh, well, I moved, and he's somewhere. I think he's in my night table to the right, so I haven't pulled him out of that night table, but I'm, I, think he's, I think he's here. Okay. Yeah, I haven't gotten rid of him, obviously. I didn't throw him away. I just wouldn't know exactly where he's at. Okay, what do we got? I can see we have a few more orders, but it's not too many. People went pretty deep tonight. A few people did. Mr. M. Business. 
Can I trade my Pokemon cards for some Ghosts from the Past packs? Yeah, we might be able to do that. Let's take a look at your bag, Mr. M Business. It, it depends on how much you want and what you got, okay? Oscar, Oasis, Michael, Nurses, Osmar, Mark, Nick Wieg, Mitchell, Nick, Nicholas, and Matt Faye. So you're not in that box. You might be in, uh, actually, I feel like you're in this box. Oh. <laughs> Remember that tape from last night? Still sticking. There we go. So we got Michael, Miss Ale, Owen, Oscar, Mason, Nicobla, M Business. So you would like to trade the cards in your bag for ghosts from the past. Let's see what you got. Forbidden Chalice, Nibiru, Solemn Judgment, Fantastic Fantastical Dragon Phantasme. Oh damn, you got a Starlight Rare. So are you looking to trade? Wait, they say the poke. Oh, the pokies in your bag. You're just talking about these Charizards back here. Um, okay, so yeah, I could probably do a, a trade. Uh, how much are you? Um, how many you wanted though? You wanted two to three ghosts from the past packs, huh? I don't know. The thing is, I actually have plenty of these out to grade. I don't necessarily need these. And I definitely don't need these. These are very common, in fact. He says two packs. I think we could probably do two packs. Is that Mr. M Business talking? I'll do two packs for you, Mr. M Business. But you know, if you pull a Ghost Rare, it's going to be insanely good for you. And then it's going to be kind of tough on me because uh, people will be less interested in opening those Ghost Rares. Those ghosts from the past. But that's okay. That's not my job to judge that. You made a trade, right? Not my, jo not my job. I'm hoping that you pull the ghost rare. I am. I'm, I'm not kidding. Here goes. Just for you, mister. I made the trade. Let's see if you get lucky tonight. All right. So you got some hollows. No ghost rare in that one. Remember, guys, it only takes one pack to pull, like, a, you know, the Starlight Rare or the Ghost Rare from these. It eventually happens, right? One of the packs has it in it. You just don't know which one. Evil Thorn. All right, but it's not in these packs, mister. Sorry about that. Boop. And I have a few extra Charizards. They're a little bit off-center, but that's all right. Maybe I'll give them away. I like this uh, Starlight Rare. You ought to get this graded, okay? Get it graded. If you ever want to do a trade with the Starlight Rare, let me know. Because um, those are pricey, and you could probably get a pretty good trade for that. Pretty large one. Next up, we got Dan Newman. He says, good evening, Mr. One NFL Custom NBA Donruss Pack and bag is on the table. You got it, Mr. Dan. All right, there's the Don Russ NBA. Oops. Dan. No, man. Three spots left, and then we begin a new round. Chris Haynes has been waiting since yesterday. Oop. We've got OG, Fred, Eric... Tristan Montrezl, here's Zion Williamson. You also pull Emmanuel Quickly and Zeke. That Yu-Gi-Oh card is worth 200, huh? Nice. All right, here's the Emmanuel Quickly. And here's Zion Williamson. Sweet! Oops, 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 oops. All right, there we go. All right, and Dan Newman, your bag is right here. I knew exactly where your bag was. Is the Zion a good pull? I think I heard Zion was a good character, right? I said character good. Again, a good player. You're ready to open the prism. So am I, mister, but we can't... We haven't finished that list out, have we? One, two, three, four, five, six. So six of those left. 
Next up, we got Anthony Rodriguez. Hey, Mr. First Time Buyer, my house got flooded and got to my pokies. Oh, mister. Three vivid for me. Okay, three vivid. I hate to hear that. He also says five ponies for the kids. Sounds good. One, two, three, four, and five. Now, I just want to mention the way the ponies work. We only keep the hollow cards. The non-hollow cards get thrown away. However, seeing as this is for your children, I will try to pick out a few extras from each pack, okay? The ones I think uh, they will like, like character ones. That's just for your kids. I would love to keep all the bulk. Oh, he says it right there. I'll pay for live shipping if needed. My name is Kafia. What's up, man? How's it going? So you would like to order some live shipping to keep the bulk? There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, that is exactly how you would go about trying to bring your bulk home, okay? Because the reason we drop bulk is because of the cost of shipping. If you didn't know this, guys, once you have to ship something over a pound, the shipping like literally doubles in price, maybe a little more than doubles. And so we don't like it when the, bat, when the uh, item reaches a pound. And this is why we don't like bulk because bulk causes your package to reach a pound like that. And yet bulk is not very valuable at all, it's bulk. So that's why we have the rule on bulk. But if this is for your kids, I certainly want your kids to have fun. All right, so pack number one is cold. Pack number two is looking also pretty cold. Pack number three, here we go. You got a Twilight Sparkle Hollow. Oh my Lord, be sure to grade it. We need to grade some of these cards. I wanna know what happens if we grade these cards and put them into auction. Wouldn't it be crazy if it turned out there was a demand for them secretly? I bet not, but maybe, you never know. Here's Auntie Applesauce and she's got her gums or something like that. What is this called? I can't remember what those are called. Bring me my, I don't remember. When old people have like fake teeth, there's a term for that. Dentures. Thank you, Mr. Mahasvara. I couldn't remember the word. So these are for your kids. Uh, and yes, if you would like to do live shipping of, do live shipping of $3 for me, okay? I'll cover the rest of it. Here's Shop It. Okay, Shop It. We'll keep these as well for your kids, right? Taylo and Two Cannon. Oh, mister. Well, you need a card now. You need a bonus. Here's a bonus Charizard. Look at that lovely Charizard. Bonus? All right, thank you so much, Mr. Anthony Rodriguez. And I hope your kids like the cards. Uh, actually, I'm gonna put this Charizard in the middle of the pile so he has a little bonus protection. Yeah, see how thick that is? That's actually really heavy. It reaches over a pound very fast. And so that's why we don't like to ship bulk. It causes bags to reach a pound very quickly. All right, so this is ready for live shipping. I'll set it to the side, but first I'll write your name on it. Thank you. Now I can send them to bed. Oh, were they watching? <laughs> you should have had me say hi or something. So Anthony Rodriguez. All right, those will be sent out. Next up, we have Raul Batista. He says seven silver lance. Seven silver lance. Silver lance. Silver lance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You got it, Raul. Okay, let's get these snips going. Sneep. And. Sneep. All right, let's see what happens. Cold. Cold. Ah! Oh, it's Brony Rex. Wow, he's the biggest My Little Pony Brony. If you didn't know. Here's a lichen rock. Cold. And Porygon. 
three months of PSA simps saving cards to submit. That's right. Meanwhile, Chad, CGC, and BGS submitters already have their cards sent out in the grading process. Hmm, somebody's gonna, somebody's gonna have cards to sell while other people are gonna have this big gap with nothing to sell. But not everyone's into cards just for the flip, right? But flipping is a big part of collecting. That's because you, you pursue the card you want and then you try to sell the ones you don't. So it just occurs for everyone. That's why a lot of collectors are kind of like scalpers, you know what I mean? They're like, I need to I need to make some money off of my hobby so I can go after my favorite card. <laughs> they say, you got any more of them pokies? <laughs> they got a little, their nose is all covered in white stuff. Got any more of those pokies? Everyone pointing fingers at each other. You're a scalper. Joseph Gyron says one NFL custom. You got it. Oh, very close. Joseph Gyron. There we go. Sad that Target doesn't sell Pokemon anymore. That's not sad. They'll sell them again anyways. Just give us some time. Too vivid. Two battle styles. Hey, mister, can you scan through my bag to see what cards I have? So Joseph Gyron wants to know what cards he has. John... Johnny, John, Joshua, Jonas, John. Who's this? Jose, Joshua, Jonathan, John Hincapi, John, Jonathan, Josh, John Targus. I'm going to guess you're not in this one. Let's try the other one. Jonathan Westfall, Jose Pacheco, Jonathan Morris, Jose Flores. Johnny So Rosy, Jose Ponce, Joseph Gyron. We found your bag, Joseph. Now, you said for me to thumbs through and show you what you got. Show me what you got. Houndoom, Flapple, Santa Scorch, some uh, different types of Pokemons. Look at this. You got a Suicune, bro. You're going to have to give me that Suicune. It's tax time. All right, some hollows. By the way, if anyone wants to put their bag on a diet and donate their reverse hollow hollows, let me know. I'm always looking for some more hollow hollows for those live custom boosters because those eat up the hollows like crazy. All right, here we go. Snip. Snip. Shoplisters don't make up for as much card theft as people think. Don't make up for as What? <laughs> I don't know what you mean by that. Mr. Joseph, let's see what you pull. You've got Dusk Nuer. Ooh. And you've got Blitzel Zarud. How rude. You also got Experience Share and Girder. Girder, I barely know her. All right, thank you, Mr. Joseph. Wow, so many cards. So many hollows. Got any games? Says Kathy. What's up, Kathy? <coughs> hey, mister, you got any games? <coughs> All right, I'm refreshing. Hey, mister. What is this music right now? All right, we're refreshed. I'm gonna turn this down a little bit. Castlevania Legend. All right, there we go. It's a little bit quieter. Do you guys like it loud or do you like it quiet? Let me know. Targon's Tavern. He says, can I get some Ghost of the Past? You got it, but you didn't specify the amount. So let me do some math. Where's Ghost of the Past? Here it is, Ghost of the Past, one for 13. So give me a moment. Five of them, all right. One, two, three, four, and five. Five Ghost of the Past. Time to pull you a Ghost Rare, Mr. Targon. 
I liked when you had Undertale music. We do have Undertale music available, so we'll be playing some of that. I'm just trying new things. It's all about exploring, right? All right. He says, my bad, mister. No problem. It happens. Let's see what we got. All right, no ghost rare in pack number one. How about pack number two? Dark Requiem XYZ Dragon. Woohoo! Okay, that's cold. That's cold. Now, are any of these hollows actually still good, like valuable, collector wise? Splash Mage. Look at this. Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. Like, is this valuable? Who can tell me if any of the hollows are valuable at all? And Dragoonity, Heretic, Time Thief, Photon, and Her Heretical Seal. That Dark Requiem goes for about 10. Which one? I want the Dark Requiem. You're saying Dark Re Requiem will sell for 10 bucks? Damn. Here it is. I want to see that Charizard up close. It's Charizard! Boop. I don't know if he's telling the truth about the price on that, but I'm not going to research it either, so I'm just going to go with that. Boop. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and move this into your bulk box. There we go. All right, let's see who's next. Next up, we got Jacob Kai. Jacob says, hey, mister, us active duty military enjoy what you do. Well, thanks, man. He wants 10 silver links. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He says, finish Finish with three on the NFL Custom. Oh, mister, well, you're going to take two spots on the NFL Custom. That's Jacob Kai. Got 10 and 11. Uh, there wasn't room for a third spot. Unless jo Joseph Gyron wants to jump into the next round and let you in. But we'll go ahead and open these up in a moment. Let's get your Silver Lance open. Here it goes. Mr. Jacob. Sneep. All right, here goes. Only the hot ones. Cold. Here's Frostlass. Cold. Here's is Tornadus. Woohoo! Cold. Can I play for the large zero spot? What? Will the normal custom boosters return? Yes. Live customs will return. We're just taking them down for a little while while we try to get this NFL prison box moved. I feel like they compete with each other, so it's really quite a struggle. All right, you pick up Lipard and you pick up Tornadus. That's Jacob Kai. Sergeant Jacob Kai. And I think your bag's over here. Yes, it is. Sweet. There we go. Time for the custom NFL Prism packs. Are you ready? So there should be 11 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, that's Jacob Kai saying he wants a Don Russ and a Detective Pikachu. Yeah, let's do that. Sounds good. Here you go.
my chair's all like, brr. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Alex says, these aren't pokies. Snape, some of them are pokies. All right, for your Detective Pikachu, Magikarp, Charmander, Morlul, and Slacking. Oops. Slacking. Boop. Toss this out of the way. Okay, for your Don Russ pack, you pull. You got Marcus, Enes, Devin, Zach, Brandon. Here we go. Sorry, for your hits, you've got... Robert Parrish, Xavier Tillman, and Desmond Bain. Boop. Only the pokey hot ones. Where was I going with this? <laughs> I hear those squeaks in my dreams. You probably do. Probably fall asleep and still hear the squeaking. Why, why do all these pokies have an orange ball? That's the new pokey ball. Mr. Jacob. The Pokies and basketball players of your dreams. We're in Pokey Heaven. All right, we're recounting these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we got eleven. So now we shuffle these. Are you ready? Split them in half. Same deal. I forgot to say I have a bag again, says Anthony Roberts. Anthony, what are you doing? Oh, Anthony. Can someone in the audience give me a number? Pokey Day says four. One, two, three, four. All right, here it goes. Good luck. Chris Haynes on one and, oops, and two. Sorry, Chris, those are not the packs. Chris Haynes with a C. Let's go find Chris Haynes' bag. Brittany, I found Brittany. It's Brittany, bitch. Bradley, Christopher Bello. Let's check up here. Sorry, Chris. You pull hollows. Here we go, Chris Haynes. Oh, you've got this lovely holographic Kingler. Look at that. Boop. All right. Next up, we have Ramiro. Good luck, Ramiro. Ah, uh, sorry, Ramiro. No luck there. Now, Ramiro had a really large bag. Did he have me ship it? I don't think he did. Here it is. It's Mr. Ramiro. Go ahead and put this back in real careful. Got to be gentle with these cards, right? Mr. Amos Castro. That's a cold round, Mr. Amos. Ah, so the people beneath Amos are thinking the pokey heavens. Amos, you pulled a Mega Charizard last, huh? Very nice. What's up, uh, Swayze? Is it Swayze? Sweezy? And here's Jesse Salinas. Oh, I'm sorry. This Larvesta is also Mr. Amos's. Whoops. Jesse Salinas. I'm sorry, Jesse. You pull Holographic Gardevoir. I'm Morrow. What's up, Morrow? Jedediah. I gotta go one at a time, guys. <laughs> That's Jesse Sagquim. Jesse Salinas. Where did I see Jesse last? Jacob. Jet. See, I don't think Jesse was here. Was Jesse up top? I think Jesse was up top. Man, I need some people to ship. You guys got fat bags. You're like, no, I'll never ship. We're having to start clearing some of this out. Luis Rodriguez, are you the one? No, I'm sorry, Luis. Not tonight. I thought you could be the one. So there's an increasingly higher chance one of the remaining guys will get the pull. James Gower. Oh, there it goes. Mr. James. James Gower. Is James Gower here? You get an NFL prism or a box of math matchless. Mr. James Gower. What's up, James? 
I don't know if he's still watching. While we're working our way through that, we have Dan Newman, who pulls a hollow. Here you go, Mr. Dan. So, Mr. James Gower, I recommend the NFL Prism because it's more valuable. Uh, but you can have a box of match list. That's Pokemon cards. If you prefer the Pokemon cards, they're of a lesser value than the NFL Prism pack. But, you know, so, you you Pokemon card collectors can can join this and still get a, a box of Pokemon cards out. Joseph Gyron, Slugma, Slugma balls, mister. Okay, so this is Joseph Gyron. We just saw his bag. Here it is. There we go. And two for Jacob Kai. I'm sorry, Jacob. That's a cold round for Jacob Kai. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Here, since you're serving, let's toss you a bonus card. There's a bonus card. I'd be careful with that. Let's see. I'm going to drop the camera. Jacob Kai. Boop. Did you ship out card graders, or do you wait till they ask for shipper shipping? Uh, the card graders do get shipped out automatically. We had an order with Estuardo Pasquel. I didn't realize that you had a card hanging up for the... Uh, well, I did, but I'd forgotten about it, and it was, like, hidden. Uh, but so for an Estuardo Pasquel, uh, your card graders are packed up right now and labeled, and they're sitting in a box for the mailman to pick up. Uh, the other thing is I just couldn't get it out because, you know, it's Memorial Day weekend, and they weren't picking up. Okay. So that means we enter into round three. Round three. Let's get another box top. I love these box tops. And we start a fresh round. There it is. I'm going to set James Gower down here for now. And if James Gower decides he prefers the pack uh, of Ma or the box of Matchless, he can change his mind, okay? There you go, Mr. James Gower. I'll just put a question mark next to it to, so that we know it's not confirmed. Uh, but I didn't see him say anything, and this is the higher value, so I'm placing him here. The police just knocked my door. Can I order some Pokemon cards? What's up, Dad? You sure can. Wow, man, that's a crazy story. Okay, so this is moving slowly but surely. There's one, two, three, four, five spots left. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and build these back up. You know, I don't have any hollow cards sitting over here, I don't think. Do I have some up here? Let me check up here real fast. Ugh. What are the prices on Poke Packs? Is it different between sets? Uh, you can see what's for sale if you look at the description. The description acts as like a menu, okay? All right. I'm basically just building the packs back up for the NFL Custom. Now, I know those NFL Custom packs are pretty pricey. Uh, but there's a good reason for that. They're not like, it's not like I woke up and I said, you know what I want to do? I want to charge an unusual amount of money for NFL packs. Uh, the price was calculated the exact same way I calculate all my packs. Use, I, you know, I don't think about it. I have a little formula. It's, it's the exact same numbers every time. And uh, it just so happens that it's an expensive box. That's what it is. It's an expensive box. And the pulls in there, I've heard can be worth like a thousand dollars so i think what you're trying to pull is a popular player and you're trying to get his uh signature that's what i understand with the sport cards and people were asking me for nfl cards and i thought i'd do something cool like that and uh i think people are a little scared to dip their toes in the water one of the problems i think is i'm not very good at selling the sports cards because i can't explain to you you know what your return is you know what 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 you're trying to pull, you know what I mean? So like I can tell you, go get this Charizard from XY uh, Evolutions, but I can't do that with the football cards because I don't even know what you're supposed to pull from there. I just know that it was an expensive box and I, I hope to God you guys make a really cool pull out of it. Probably you will. All right, let's see what we got. He says, if you want the Evo Charizard to grade good, you need to bend it in half. Oh, thank you, mister. That's the advice I was looking for. That's the advice I really wanted. 
we're refreshing the, uh, the uh, list to find out what we open next. Okay. So slow, man. <laughs> After Jacob, we have Anthony Roberts. He says, can I get a ghost of the past? You got it, Mr. Anthony. There we go. Sunvine, Galaxy Eye, Cypher, Splash Mage, Metal Foes, and Son of Sunavalon Dryanome? What? Will I restock Evolution soon? Very soon. They're already on the way. I ordered them like two days ago. So they're already on the way. Anthony Roberts. He said he had a bag. Let's go find it. Evolutions. Alexander Ross, Alexander, Aiden, Adam Mundorf, Alex. Alex, Anthony, Anthony H. Let's try the other one. I bet you're in here, mister. Let me cut the prism. Uh, I don't recommend that. That would be a, an enormous loss of money. You cut something. You can cut whatever you want. It's your, they're your cards. But I hate seeing it go to waste, you know? But I guess that's the fun of it, right? Like, if you only cut things that didn't have any value, nobody would care, you know? Ashton Raymer, Alex, Arneth, Alejandra. I don't think you're on this side. Is your bag, have you been sitting around for a while and you just came back for a day? Let's try looking up top. Will you sell, will you refill heavy shadowless base set packs? That's right. <laughs> Alexander. So I'm getting ready to make you a second bag, Mr. Richard Johnson. It's been a few days. Oh, okay. Oh, here we go. Anthony Roberts. You got the Divine Arsenal Zeus. What a great pull, mister. I wish you had pulled a Ghost Rare. That would have been cool. Boop. Can we do a Flash Fire Break? Would anyone here be up for that? You know, we did a Flash Fire Break in the past, and it was real expensive. And nobody pulled anything too crazy. I guess a secret rare Charizard was pulled, and that was like it. So I feel like most people lost money, and then one guy did well, and that was it. So I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> Melissa, she says two NFL custom and three vivid. You got it, Melissa. Good luck. Melissa's starting us out here. Three Vivids. Vivid Voltage. Only the hottest. Where is the single vintage card pack? We will have all kinds of fun daily specials like we did with that Gym Heroes. Uh, but those are a rotating thing. So I hope you guys will check back and see what kind of crazy thing we're doing each night. Electric. Electric. Eel Ek Trick. Hey, mister, you want Joe Burrow or Justin Herbert out of the prisms? Justin Herbert is the one that goes for big money. All right, guys, you heard him. Justin Herbert, that's the card we're after. It's Lugia. All right, that's actually a hit, Melissa. This hollow Lugia, if it graded 10, probably would sell for about $100. You'd be surprised. People simp for Lugia. Okay, put that there. There we go. And Melissa, here's your bag. Hollow Lugia. And now we have to pick some more music. Let's see, what should we listen to? How about some Minecraft? I haven't heard Minecraft in a while. Okay, Connor Gillespie says five silver lamps. Mr. Connor. Oh, mister. Silver lamps still going strong. There we go. One, two, three, four. Good luck, Mr. Connor. Let's see what you pull. 
Steve? He said five? Oh, I'm sorry, mister. I did that to another guy earlier. Five silver lands. You know what I was thinking about? I was thinking about the price of $4 on the silver lands. And I ended up pulling you four packs like a goof. Thank you. All right, here goes. Oh. Cold. 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 And what do we got here? We've got... It's Brody Rex. Also... Oh! Very nice. Pulling the... Not Whitney. See, somebody called her Whitney last time. What was her name? I'm thinking of Houston, but I know it's not Houston. That makes no sense. What is her name? I keep forgetting her name. Toss this over here. Is it Melanie? All right, Connor Gillespie, congratulations on your hot pull, mister. That's a snipe. Thick wick 2.0, a little bit. Svetlana. <laughs> I was at a uh, Walmart a couple days ago buying some necessary gear, and uh, uh, the the lady managing the self-checkout, her name was Svetlana. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and refresh. How long have we been streaming? 126 minutes? Early night? Hint, 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 hint. <laughs> now nah, let's not have an early night. Let's go all night. I'll go as long as you guys want to go. So next up, we have Mr. Michael Cusick. He says, four shining fates. Oh, tell me I got four. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Ooh. Mr. Crushing on the checkout girl, not at all, actually. She uh, was definitely grandma age, so she is not in my age range. Sneep. What am I talking about? That's not true. She was a little bit older. She had an accent, too. She had a, uh, she had an accent. Yanma and Crobat. Give me her phone number. Oh, my God. Here's the Crobat. Barascuda. Ooh, Barascuda. Do, 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 do. Here's Horsey. And Frostmoth. All right. So Barascuda Shiny will be your pull, mister. That's Michael Cusick. What's up, Michael? How's it going? Let's go ahead and pop this in here. There we go. There we go. Amos Castro says, let me get four unified minds. One, two, three, and four. Sweet. Mister, would you trade HF Zard? I, I'm sorry, I missed that message. Chat's really crazy tonight. You guys are talking it up. All right, Amos, pack number one, Terrakian. Pack number two, Almungas. Pack number three, Snover Magnazone. And pack number four, Alolan Raichu. Oh, Mr. Mr. Amos, that was a cold round. Now, Mr. Amos, I think you're the first one of the night to have such a clearly cold and pricey round. And I'm going to get you one of Keith Craver's bonus pulls is a pack of Pukemon. This is from like the year 2000. It's quite old. I'm going to leave it sealed for you. You can send this pack off to be graded or you could open it up. If you open it up, it's a lot of goofy Pokemon in there. Okay. So that's a pity pull from our friend Keith Craver. Thank you, Keith. I'm going to turn this down a little bit. That's it, guys. After the live stream, we're playing Minecraft together. Get out of my room. I'm playing Minecraft. Woo. All 
All right, we're refreshing and there is no wait time. There's no wait time if you guys want to open any pokies at all. There is no wait time. Biden and Harris believe they fooled everyone. They only fooled themselves. No one is buying those lies that spew out of their mouths. Man, those are some strong words, mister. Let me go ahead and get some more penny sleeves. Male lady gonna hate me. That's right. She's gonna she's gonna be very unhappy because all the pokies are getting shipped. She's gonna be like, ugh, I gotta pick up so many pokies. Mister, do those white stickers on the slabs mean they're for sale? Ah, uh, yes, that's precisely what they mean. Just did another order. Sounds good. What's up, Nick? How's it going? Let's go ahead and refresh. Mister, get a new chair. You don't like you don't like this chair? Listen. Ooh, it's the chair. That's the squeaky chair, man. Special brand. Exclusive to TCC. The exclusive TCC squeaky chair. So, after Michael Cusick, after Amos Castro, we have Jacob Kai, and he says, 10 vivid. And you can search my bag for any hollows that you think is needed for donation. You said the magic words. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, no. Tell me I got one more. Yeah, okay. Give me a second. <laughs> Squeaky chair from hell. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So cool. Snip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine, ten. Bring back the old scissors. Well, they're on the shipping table now. All right, let's see. We got, we've got Celebi right off the bat, mister. What a nice pull. Celebi Amazing Rare. I do have a hot tub. And by the way, the hot tub was, I guess it automatically cleans itself. Like it turned itself on. We thought maybe somebody had messed around with it. Uh, but we called up the previous owner. He says, no, that's normal. The hot tub automatically turns on for like an hour and cleans itself. And we were messing around with it today and it looks pretty nice. We might have to have our hot tub stream. What do we got? We got Mudbray. Here's, oh, Hyper Rare Alistar. Congratulations. All right, that's a hot round. Celebi and Alistar. Oh, mister. Here's Garbador and Colossal. Here's Kerchester. What? And here's AG Slash. All right. Look at this beautiful AG Slash. What's up, Bill? Welcome back, man. Bill Tran. All right. Man, I got a little book pile going on over there. Go ahead and sleeve this up. Boop. Wow, nice pulls, mister. Definitely makes up for the earlier round, which was a little on the cold side. A little bit on the cold side. Where we just put your bag? We just had it. <laughs> That's Jeremy Connell. I swear we just had your bag. Kelby. Jacob Kai, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and refresh. No wait time if you guys are interested in any pokies. All right, let's see what's going on. We have an order from Mr. Dave O'Callahan. O'Callahan? I think it's O'Callahan. 
What's up, Dave? He says it's Dave Rayboy. Can I get a General Mills? You sure can. Mister, how many Silver Lance boxes you got? I have a few left. Left. Are you are you looking to open a few? Let me know. So there's General Mills and a McDonald's. All right, let's get that McDonald's and pull you an instant pee pee chew. Boop. I might just open a few boxes. Well, we got sealed case fresh box. This is full of PP Chew and Charizard. I don't even think Charizard's in this set. All right, we've got Hatena and Pikachu. Here's Pikachu. What's up, trash cans? Nice, man. So that's a hot pack of General Mills. And let's see if we can get you a nice pull from the McDonald's pack. All right, here goes. Boop. Squirtle. Nice, dude. Squirtle's actually really good. Mikey says, where's my Pokeball? Your membership probably ran out. <laughs> I had somebody else ask that. All right, so that's Dave O'Callahan, and he's returning and probably has a bag. What's up, Dave? Mr. Dave. Sweet. Michael Fusick, Connor, Melissa Price. Just make sure I haven't missed anyone. I'm going to go ahead and refresh. Man, this music does make me want to play Minecraft. Is this an order from... Amos, I think it's an order from Amos. It is an order from Amos. He wants five matchless. Mister. We got five matchless right here for Mr. Amos Castro. Good luck, mister. Sneep. Thanks, mister. Nice pulls. No, thank you, mister, for all your support. I really appreciate it. That's cold. Here's Urshifu. Hollows, Mr. To Donate. Oh, I forgot about that. Yes, let's go through that. <laughs> I appreciate that because we always need a little bit of a supply of hollows in order to in order to keep the live customs having little hollow pulls for the people who do like hollows. So it really just gets redistributed. Because if I ever ran out of hollows, I'm just gonna do non-hollow rares, and then people will be sadder. <laughs> So this is for Mr. Amos. Amos. Boop. And what was I thinking about? Oh, Jacob Kai. All right, watch this, guys. We're going to remove some hollows. And you're going to watch his bag become way more feasible in size. All right, like those can be removed. All right, actually, you want to keep most of that. <laughs> Let's try in here then. Okay, there's some hollows. Some hollows I didn't even bother sleeving. You want to keep that hollow, right? <laughs> All right, and you want to keep these as well. So you might have already donated hollows in the past. Wow, you got a really, really valuable bag, that means. Because this is a concentration of hits. Very nice, mister. He says thanks, no problem. Oh, let's see if we're wrapping up for the night. Oh, is this an order from Mahasvara? Let's find out. Mahasvara says there might have been an order. I can tell. 
Okay, so I can see you have your order, but first Michael Cusick came in. He says, I would like to donate my non-valuable hollows and get 12 jet black. 12 jet black? Oh, that's so, that's so jet. So Mr. Mahasvar, you'll be right after him. I'm super hypers. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's Michael Cusick. Mr. Michael. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He said 12. <laughs> One more. There we go. Sweet. Pokey stand for Pokemon trainers. <laughs> here we go, Mr. Michael. Sneep. I see you guys getting all political down there. <laughs> Sneep. And Sneep. I had a bad experience with my recent vaccine. They had told me it was not ready and they had to heat it up on a spoon. That must have been one hell of a vaccine, mister. All right, Michael, Michael, Michael. He said, donate your non-valuable hollows. You got it. But this is actually a valuable hollow. That's the Gengar. Hold. 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 Here's Cresselia. Hold. Zeraora. Look at him. He's going to do on you. That's cold. Oh, not, I didn't even know this was a card in the set. It's Arctivish. Arctivish Secret. Congratulations, to Mr. Michael. Pulling the hottest card ever. Cold. And Celebi. All right. I don't know how I feel about Arctivish. He, uh, he doesn't... I feel like Amistar Kabutops had it. <laughs> Mr. When can we do another giveaway? I'm going to try to win a giveaway. You want to try and win a giveaway? You didn't tell me you wanted to win. Oh, you should have just said that. I would have let you win last time. I would have been like, all right, he's the winner. Mr. Michael Cusick, thank you for the donation. Let's go through your bag and we'll pull out the, uh, the hollows that you probably would never grade. So, those are hits. And these... Our hollows. That's a non hollow duck trio from XY Evolution. Look at this. Damn, dude. Those are some hot ones, huh? Galarian Rapidash. This is a hollow, right? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Gr uh, Gengar. I almost called him Greninja again. Oh, you had graded these too, huh? Okay, that's hollow. Hollow, hollow. Oh, actually, I like this one. The Raikou, he's from like Lost Thunder or something, right? So he stays. Okay, those are some yucky hollows. All right. Oh, and one more yucky hollow. Thank you so much for your donations of those those pretty much non-gradable hollows. They will be excellent fodder. And look at that. Your bag's so manageable now. You look like you lost weight. You look good. <laughs> it's like a quarter of your bag. Right? Throw your bag. Now we move on to Mr. Mahasvar, who says two boxes of Silver Lance. Silver Lance. Silver Lance. Silver Lance. Oh, mister. You said the magic words. Whoop. It's Silver Lance Hood. That's right. Silver Lance is a hood rat. And don't you forget it. Snitches get stitches. I got Moderna and it turned me into a healthy horse. Whirr. Brownie confirmed. All right. That's 30 packs. 
magic word of the day. That means I get a free box, right? That's right, a free box of hugs. Hug! All right, 15. And the other 15. Sweet! Damn, that's a lot of silver lands. 30 at a time, huh? Holy. I'm in pokey heaven. All right, here we go. Steep. Sneep. That's a lot of sneep, man. Mahasvara, how are you feeling about this Japanese book? You want the Japanese book? Sneep. And sneep. That's a lot of sneep. He says you can keep the book. You know what I would have been doing a Japanese book recently? I tossed a whole chunk of it. I was like, oh my god, I can't take it anymore. Here it goes. We got Porygon. Only hot ones for Mr. Mahasvara. Here's Tornadus. I know that's the card you're looking for. Don't lie to me. So what card in particular would you really like? I mean, there's a there's a lot of decent ones in here. What do you think the best pull is? Maybe the Melanie? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe the Calyrex himself. Is Calyrex popular? What's up, GJM? Welcome to the live stream. Ooh, we got Galarian Rapidash. Cold. Cold. It's Gardevoir! That's her using psychic powers on you. Can I get a free card? All right, we're getting you a free card, Mr. Trash Can. It's Lycanroc. Cold. I think the waifus are the best pulls. I agree. Here's the Calyrex, or should I say Brony Rex. I fell asleep again. Mister, you're not allowed to sleep. The only thing you're allowed to do is watch pokies. Cinderace. Oops. Cold. Lipard. The Lipard keeps telling lies. All right, toss this over here. What's up, fan? How's it going, fan? Nice to see you. Fan, I've been a busy boy over here. We're opening all the pokey. Uh, we're opening all the pokies tonight. Tripping over my own words. Here's another tornadoes. How is Valstrax? Cold. Here's Taurus. All right, we're in the last few packs. I mean, the, the secret rare has to be in these last few, right? Here's Frostlass. Wow, it has to be the last two then. Cold. Oh, man. I got like dandruff in my eye right now in the last pack. Ugh. All right, it's better. <laughs> Here it is, and it is. Tornadus! You got the Tornadus alternative art. And what is he doing? Poor little score bunny. He's like, help! Man, he's beating up little kids. Cool. So, that's the first box... There we go. We are taking more orders if you want to open some pokies. Wait, how are you going to give it to me? Uh, I'm just going to send them to you, man. Cold. Wait, why did I say cold? I meant to say sneep. It's because I say cold so much. Sneep. All right, all right, all right. Sneep. I need like an energy drink, man. This is the end of my night, by the way. Did you guys know that? So directly after the live stream, I go straight to bed. 
This is not like a, I just woke up and started streaming kind of stream. This is the I go to sleep immediately after the stream ends kind of stream. <laughs> and uh, I'll tell you, I'm not as talkative at the end of the night. And I'm not as uh, I'm not as smart either. Like what I say isn't nearly as clever in my opinion. All right. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready, mister. You can't handle the pokies. Here's Lycan Rock. That's a cold one. Here's... Ah! Oh, it's Slowking. Round two. This is box number two for Mr. Mahas Vara. That new lake life is taking over your days. It is, though... See, normally after I uh, normally after I did Pokemon cards, I might do something like play video games. I, I'm not doing any video games. I'm going outside. I'm getting healthy, going swimming. Well, I haven't really been swimming. I've been swimming twice, but the water is actually quite cold. Uh, it's still too early for the water to have warmed up, apparently. Tornadoes again. Why are you getting all the tornadoes, Mr. Mahasvara? That's cold. Where do I give you my address? Well, not here. Here's Santa Conda. Trust in me. Right? Ka from Jungle Book. That's what he looks like when he's all clothed up. Zarud. The pokies were made for life. What? Oh, 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 oh. Boop. Here's It's Brony Rex. He's riding in My Little Pony. And another Calyrex. Come on, hot box. We want to see a hot one. Cold. A Lipard. Oh, man, there's a Lipard full art. Hope you don't get that. The alternative art Tornadoes is pretty cool. He's It's definitely a decent pull, right? But you could have gotten, like, regular full art Tornadoes or regular full art Lipard. I think those are pretty tough ones. Mister, pulling the doctor. It's head nurse. She's saying, okay, drop your pants, turn to, turn your head to the left, and cough. Woo! All right. You pulled doctor. She says, I'm about to give you your vaccine. What do we got? Cold. Cold. It's Gardevoir. You know, this could be a hyper rare. Let's find out. And it's not. It's just Volcanion. All right. I thought those pulls were pretty good, Mahasvara. Especially uh, the Dr. Full Art is, is a decent one. That's my sugar mama. Wow. Thank you for that, Mr. Mahasvara. Very entertaining. I got my PhD from Reddit. <laughs> Very good. Well, that's how you know it's legit totally valid all right one and and two Boop. there's doctor and here's tornadoes yeah i don't think that's too bad of a round at all mr mahasvar you did well all right very cool now we're going to create a fresh bag for you. I've got a box, and it's going on its way to you right now, Mr. Mahasvar. The mailman picks it up tomorrow. It's got a little gift in it, okay? It's got a little extra. So I'll let you figure that out when it arrives, okay? Sweet. Okay, who's next? Another four to five hour stream tonight? Well, hopefully not that much, but I do want to round out the usual three hours. I usually try to target three hours. Ah, my eye is itchy. I got like dust in my eye, now it's like itchy. So Jacobot, Kai, Amos, Michael, and Mahasvara, and it looks like we're all done actually. I don't see any more orders. Unless GJM's about to put in an order, I would not mind wrapping up a little bit early tonight. Let's see. Yeah, I don't see any more orders. Mr. GJM, you're not putting in an order, are you? 
MB4 is just more what? Do you think the USSR really collapsed and is no more? Or do you believe they just did that to get the spotlight off of them and went into the darkness and still carried on? No, I really think they collapsed. I think that if you look at, I, I think there's too much historical evidence occurring in multiple nations, uh, like Hungary, you know, you had, you had uh, uh, Eastern Europe, well, it's sort of like Central Eastern Europe, and they were all revolting against the USSR, and they basically uh, succeeded in that revolt, right? And then at the same time, the Chernobyl accident basically bankrupted U the USSR, right? So that was a big deal. Uh, and when a, when a, when an organization like that crumbles, it's not like all of the thought leaders go away forever. So if you were to say there's still people over there that have the same ideals of the Soviet Union, you will probably be correct, but I don't think there would be as many of them left because it, it was a while ago. Uh, the other thing I would say is the ideology of the USSR is definitely not gone. The ideology appears to just kind of spread to other countries. Uh, you know, it happened in Russia, but it's not just Russia. You've got other countries that believe socialism will work and it's here in the United States as well. It, it seems to just be this constant thing that humans fight over. You know, it kind of makes sense. When humans are in a big group, uh, it becomes very easy to go, wait a second, you've got more than me. We can't have that. So it's just the typical class struggle. And it, it's a very interesting thing. You know, to me, I, I think that it's just part of human nature, part of human psychology to believe in wealth redistribution and fairness and stuff like that. So I, I think that it doesn't work. So I'm not a, I'm not a fan of wealth redistribution. Uh, however, I, at this point, I do think that it's, it's not just this artificial ideology that came out of some sick, twisted mind and oh, the, the red scare and all that. I think it's just this like continuous thing that you constantly have to argue with. You know what I mean? It's an interesting problem. All right, so I just refreshed, and we have an order for Mr. Amos. What's up, Amos? He says, two more unis. You got it, Amos. Here it is. Fahan says, they lived, they had surprisingly good lives up until the USSR collapsed in 91. No, that's debatable. Uh, some of them had good lives, and your concept of good back in the, their uh, timeline is, is very uh, different from what we would consider good. Uh, think about it. They had, even the people who lived well, they lived with certain rations and they didn't have a way to go beyond those rations. And that's one of the problems I have with wealth redistribution is, let's say you're somebody who likes to work harder or maybe somebody of higher natural talent. Shouldn't you want to have more in your life? And so the idea that their elite group, their upper middle class was living well is a misconception because if they were allowed to pursue real wealth in a capitalist society, they might have had much more than they actually had at that time. But you also have to remember that they had plenty of poor people who were really struggling as well. Here we go. We've got Stadium Navigator and Kangaskhan. And the fact that Chernobyl bankrupted them so easily is significant as well. Coach Trainer, the fact that it bankrupted them was because they just didn't have that much money in the first place. Oh, Amos, I'm sorry, Amos. Just three hollows. If I put my address in here, will people send me free pokies? Send me the free ones. I'm looking for a free pokey. Okay. Next up, we have Estuardo Pasquel. He says, live shipping. Please donate the hollows left in my bag. I should have three slabs. All right. What's up, man? Estuardo Pasquel. A lot of people that I know still say they lived comfortably during that era. Yeah, but then there's also people who say uh, they really, really, really didn't like that era. And there was all kinds of food lines. And some people were slowly starving to death. So there's, there's two points of views. But yeah, you get people who simp for the good old days. You know, the funny thing about socialism is, is the funny thing is that you still don't have class equality. An elite group still rises out of the society because it's a naturally occurring phenomenon. All right, Mr. Estuardo, we got your bag. 
is a naturally occurring phenomenon for there to be uh, an elite ruling aristocracy. Those are your smart manipulators, your speakers, your priests, your politicians. You just can't stop them from seizing power. They always do. Uh, but the problem with socialism is you, you have the private sector that makes all the money, right? They're the productive ones. They innovate, they sell a product, they create profits, they create uh, high productivity, and then there's a surplus. Well, when you take all of that profit away from the innovators, they first of all, they have less of a reason to work insanely hard and be the most productive people in the entire world. They don't have that motivation anymore. So you've effectively killed one of the most important assets to your country, which is your labor market. So you hurt your labor market, but then you take all that money away and you take it from one group of powerful elites and give it to a different group of powerful elites. The money goes into the hands of the politicians. And the problem I see with that is government generally is not as efficient with money as the private sector. So these guys over here, if they screw up, they lose everything. If the government screws up, eh, you know, what happens? Maybe you can't vote them out. You can't get rid of them. What? Not in uh, Soviet, not in the Soviet Union. You couldn't just vote out the guys who lost the money. It just didn't work that way. So they were protected. They got all the money from the business, but none of the responsibility of making sure that the business runs well and is profitable and doesn't go belly up. And that's one of the biggest problems with uh, this massive wealth redistribution is the people who have to earn the money are typically the people who are best suited for spending it. A lot of people don't appreciate that. Mr. Stuart, well, that's not true. A lot of people do appreciate it, but I would say there's an increasing group of people who don't appreciate it. All right, so let's get to that label, Mr. Estuardo. Trashkin says, oh, I really want that pokies. Yeah, so you just move all the money and the power out of the hands of the private sector and into the hands of the government, and you think that the class uh, struggle has gone away, but it really doesn't go away. So it continues on. The class struggle, there's still the aristocracy and the poor. There's still the aristocracy and the poor. Okay, after Estuardo, let's see if there's any more orders. What's so crazy about the rise of China is, is China used to really believe in wealth redistribution and class warfare, and their big, their big rise to power and wealth was that they essentially said, this isn't working. They said, class warfare doesn't work. And I don't know which president in China did it, but he said, we're not going to do class warfare anymore. We're going to allow individuals to pursue profits. So they basically became capitalist. And the funny thing is, sometimes it feels like they're more capitalist than we are in the West. Richard Johnson, he says, I'm a bag, one battle styles. I feel the snipe, you got it. All right. How's it going, awesome cameras? He says, what I miss? You missed it all, mister. We pulled beautiful cherry czars and we pulled sexy Melanie and Mahasvara pulled doctor. It was so nice. Richard Johnson, I'm sorry, that's a cold pull. Now guys, I think I'm gonna call no more orders uh, the orders have slowed down, so this is a great time to wrap up. Let's see that cherry zard up close. You want to see my cherry zard? Oh, mister, but you haven't even taken me out on a date yet. I haven't even introduced you to my parents. Alex says, giveaway. Oh, right. We normally have a giveaway, but if you think about it, Alex, um, I don't have any live custom boosters right now because the live custom boosters aren't available. They're sold out. Did you hear about the child limit lift in China? So they're allowing people to have as many kids as they want now? That's pretty good. I'm gonna have 20 kids. Procot says China didn't have motorways till 30 years ago. Now they have the most roads of any country in the world. That's right. China actually has crazy mega cities all over the place and they're building it with our, uh, with our money. It's pretty incredible. But yeah, it just shows you when the people are productive and they make all the goods, uh, and you're selling a lot to countries that are buying a lot, uh, you become wealthy. And I think that China became extremely capitalist. They became like the opposite of what they used to be. In the meantime, in the West, people are like pining. 
They're saying, I want to be communist. I really feel like part of that is because in the United States, uh, one of the biggest problems, you got a lot of young people who pulled out student loans and they were bad student loans. Uh, they were student loans that were, you were paying for college that was too expensive and you were paying for college that obviously was not a good return on investment. So now you're in all this debt and you magically become a socialist when you're in all that debt. You say, you know what? I'm a socialist now. So I think that's one of the leading causes of socialism in young people today. They go into debt for a car. They go into debt for a house. They go into debt for a college degree. You know, uh, they go into debt for dental maybe. I don't know if they do, but uh, they go into debt for this college degree and it's killing them. And I think America really needs to tackle that particular problem. Uh, but also, I think the government made the student loans so expensive, says Anthony Roberts. Well, you know, I think when the government started issuing student loans, all the schools took their price tag and said, how much is the student loan? 40000 And they, they said, cha-ching, our degree is now 40000 That's exactly what happened. So you subsidize something, you get more of it. If you subsidize school, the price jumps. And it's an interesting issue because I would say if every degree – was worth pursuing, and if every person should be in college, then why are there so many people going bankrupt uh, and not being able to move on with life because of their student loan? Well, then the obvious reason is the student loan isn't a good return on investment, and when you examine it, it's going to be psychology degrees and history degrees and philosophy degrees and the really weird ones, like there are some gender study degrees. There, There is dance theater. You can take that. So there's all these useless degrees and you pull out a $40,000 loan for it and then you're you're just done. The rest of your life, you're broke. You know what I mean? You're, you're stuck paying that back. You got no skills for the market at all and you've got a fancy education like you know about Shakespeare, I guess, but you don't have any way to make money. So that's been a colossal failure and the government just hands that loan out like it's candy and the schools say, how much are the student loans? 40,000? Bam, our, our, our degree is 40,000, just like I said earlier. So that's a really big issue. And what I would like to see, I would like to see, I would like to see there be a larger risk for pulling out the loan. You would think it's the opposite, right? You would think that the risk should be lowered for pulling out the student loan, but it should actually be higher. Basically, if you're going after a degree that has no profit at the end of taking it, it shouldn't be loaned out to you. And the issuer of the loan should be held responsible if the loan is not paid back. So it should be turned back over to the banks. And the banks, if they can't turn a profit on the degree that you're pursuing, they don't issue the loan. And what this would do is this would kill off a bunch of useless degrees because nobody would be buying them anymore. So I think that's a really, really important step to take uh, in fixing the issue. People in Europe will say we should just uh, we should just socialize degrees. I totally disagree with this. There's a reason the United States has been so much wealthier than, than Europe. And I think in Europe, when you socialize all these degrees, you, you just do exactly what we're having trouble with already. You pay for a bunch of useless ones that aren't a return on investment. So the trick is to be as efficient as possible with money uh, and to allow people to shop competitively uh, with their own money so that they spend it very carefully instead of just, hey, you got somebody else's money, spend it all you want. Hey, you get a $40,000 debt. Who cares about it? You'll pay it four years from now. You know what I mean? I don't think that works very well. Anyways, 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 I'm going to do a last refresh, make sure nobody put in any other orders, and then we're going to we're gonna wrap up after this next order, if there is a next order. This is a subject we've talked about many times on this channel. It's uh, something I'm very, I'm very interested in. All right, so Richard Johnson's order was the last order. We're going to wrap up here. Fun little topic, but, you know, we're wrapping up at this point. Maybe it's for the best because I'm on a soapbox, right? I go live every single night, and we open up Pokemon cards every single night. I will see you guys tomorrow, and, uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a nice live stream. Space Knights, see you later, Space Knights.